to. Damn. <laughs> Alright, let's get it. You said you gotta drop Scorpion, I swear. Quick. So Sonic Fox is the purple Scorpion. So that back two ca teleport cancel is so good. This man confirmed off forward three. Did you see that? He can Hold on a second. We got to rewind that. Hold on. How did he counter hit him with a back one? Let's see what that. Let's see what happened. Oh, here. Nope. Hold on a second. I'm rewinding, actually. I'm actually rewinding because I'm trying to figure out how he counter hit him. How did he counter hit him with that back one right there? Because it wasn't his turn. Wait, 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 what? All right, so he confirms oh off the forward God. three. Oh, so Sonic tried to mash when he was minus. Oh, that's what happened. So Sonic Fox tried to mash right there, chat. Even the even the greatest try to mash. That's a, that's a feels yikesman, chat. There you go. Don't mash. I think I think he wanted to test Ooh. reactions. He They're wanted trading to, a lot. Yeah, he wanted he, he wanted to test reactions. Uh, 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 All right, that's a hard knockdown. Nice. Oh, but your boy Avery, he actually Ooh, messed up his uh, his meaty right there. Ooh. Oh, Sonic Fox will not get shit meat. Oh! You try flawless block reversal. Ooh, ah, there you go, Sinestesias. That's probably what happened there. Neither neither of these guys will get shit meat. I don't know if you noticed. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Sonic, and you're going to notice this a lot throughout the set as well. But um, Sonic Fox always is ready to take a grab. Like, he's not teching shit. He's not letting himself get shimmied. Ever. Like, if he's in a situation where his back is against the wall, he's always ready to take the throw. Ah, and that's ah, actually something <laughs> That's actually something I saw with Guile, uh, with Daigo's Guile as well. Like, he's always ready to take the throw. Because taking the throw is better than getting shimmied and open up for a full combo. So a lot of these pros, when you see them get grabbed a lot, it's because they're letting themselves get grabbed because they'd rather get grabbed than take a combo. So I think that I think that's pretty interesting. Like you can even see that from Sonic. Like if I was to rewind it right here, Avert. You see, if I was to rewind it right here, Avert's trying to oh, shimmy him. Jimmy, yeah, nope. you see, even even Ninja Killer said it right there. He said, "Oh, he taking or teching? Taking. He's taking. He's ready to take a throw." Like, as in, he's ready to allow himself to get grabbed and then try to tech. You know, so, like, he'll let himself get grabbed and then he'll try to tech the grab. Or react to the grab and then tech the grab. But he's not going to basically try to early tech. Because that's how you end up getting shimmy. Like, right there, a Aver, Aver tried to shimmy Sonic right here. You know, dashing in, dashing out. Because he got the knockdown right here. Whoa. You see, that, that was a... That was a shimmy right there. You have the patience from Aver right now. Oh, you see, even Aver, even Aver's not getting so shimmied either. Oh, nice challenge! Oh, he's dead. Oh, he just, huh? Aver just called out a stagger oh, right the there. Back three, the end the round. Okay. He oh, just okay. called out a stagger right there. That, okay. Yeah, even Ninja Killer said that that was mega risky, but Aver took a. That was a big risk reward right there. Yo, the conversion from Aver. Yo, Aver's a nerd. Oh, nice follow buck on wake up. Yo, that was a fast size micro duck. Yo, did y'all see that micro duck right there, chat? Did you guys see that micro duck? That was actually pretty Yeah, nuts. you saw that micro duck? It was fast as hell. It was fast as fuck, bro. Like, I didn't even see that shit the first time I saw this shit. Hold on, we gotta rewind that shit. That shit was quick. That, that was that was mega nah, fast. I'm past that part, though. Scorp is basically risk reward playstyle. I mean, even Ninja Killer said it was mega risky for Aver Avert to call out that stagger, Sonic stagger right there. But that's a perfect example of sometimes you gotta gotta do some big PP plays, you know. <laughs> he just pulled a big Ooh, PP play up? right there. Yo, the conversion from Aver. Yo, Aver, the nerd. Oh, nice follow up on wake. So right there, Aver respected the wake up option. So once again, like I said, Scorpion is safe. I think his flawless block goes from minus four on block to minus seven if you flawless block it. So it makes it so that it's not his turn. Because normally, if you block Scorpion's uh, up three, he's like minus four, minus five. He can somewhat steal his turn back again. You know? Cynicity so says one, one, two is perfect for baiting throws. Yeah. So, like, he can he can steal his turn back after a, a blocked forward three. Or he could take his turn if, he, if it hits. So, either way, Scorpion's up three is really, really good, right? So, Avert, flawless blocking that, he was able to, like, say, no, it is definitely my turn. You know, like, you might be safe, but you're barely safe. So it's 100% my turn. 
right there, you know? Go. It didn't have micro duck, bro. That was just a fucking read. That was a fast ass micro duck. The flawless block again. And he flawless blocked his wake up again. Oh wow, I didn't even see that. He flawless blocked two of his wake ups. He knew Sonic was gonna try to wake up. And I can pretty much tell you he knew that because if you're pressuring him and you're in his face in the corner like that, they only have, like I said, any pro knows that you only have one real option on wake up in that situation. And that's either wake up block and now you got to deal with throw strike. Is he going to grab or is he going to uh, strike as I'm getting up or is it uh, wake up up three, which is your only real wake up option, honestly, you know? Like all the other wake ups, kid. Oh, don't 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 spoil the form, Saito. Don't spoil the form. I probably know what you're laughing at. Don't spoil the form. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Yo, I'm sorry. The, the joke I just saw. Oh no. <laughs> Up three is good, but it has basically no vertical. I got me my mic. Uh oh, he oh, called Sonic jump? mashing. Uh, no spear. Okay. Oh, he's whipping. So Sonic tried to take a risk right there. Up three is good, but it's basically no vertical hurt box. Yeah, exactly. Up three is the only option he has, and that's probably why Averk was ready for the flawless block. You know, he was ready for the flawless block because he knows Sonic is not going to roll because rolls are not good, especially if you're waiting for them to wake up. Rolls are not good. You know, if you're respecting people's wake up options, rolls aren't good. Um, wake up buttons aren't good. Wake up up two is not a thing, you know. Wake up up three is probably your best option. And like I said, he's waiting for it. And he's ready for it. So now Sonic got hit by that crushing blow because he wanted to take a risk. He tried to make a read right there. He thought it, that was going to just be a forward three stagger, but he got opened up by that. So that's unfortunate. Uh, okay. Oh, he just gets Ooh. hit in neutral. Oh, but Avery drops his combo. Avery drops the kill that? combo. And now Sonic's going to open him up, but Sonic's That's also no dropping. Oh, another micro duck. Oh my god. Or he tried to flawless block the gap. That too. He probably failed to flawless block the gap, or he tried to challenge. But from the animation, it really looked like he wanted to challenge because he got a counter hit. Okay, a -berg. I think it had to be a challenge because that only. I'm the true I think. I think that right? counter hits. I okay, think the counter hit is the crushing blow. Let me put the score. For Scorpion. One zero. Oh. Four okay. three four. So yeah, I think it had to be a challenge, right? Clearly sweating right now. But will he take the set? We shall see. But currently, again, Aberg is up one zero. Will Sonic make a change? Will he stick with Scorpion? Mm -hmm. We'll find out. Joker. Anyway, oh, Sonic, you want to watch the stream so we can <laughs> All right, get some insights? Sonic, pull up the main. On each bro. of the moves in real time. I uh, say what? Who? Huh? No, I'm saying you could watch the stream so that um might be GGs. For Aver, we could talk we about know, like know, the stuff like when I pause and stuff. We can talk about the stuff together. Oh, okay. And they both oh, soccer version. Oh, Aver, no against Joker, oh the, my bad. The only reason I muted, bro, I just saw. Look, I, I ain't gonna spoil it, I mean, but you're gonna laugh yourself too. You're gonna laugh. We'll see. Oh, I've seen this whole video already. I already know. <laughs> okay. Bro. <gasps> I've right, never so seen this video. <laughs> okay, just playing. Oh, nice jab check. Now that, you're going to see that jab check a lot, actually, from uh, these two. This, uh, this jab check life. And that's something mm -hmm. that I see a lot of pros do, not only in this game, but in Street Fighter as well. We'll see. They do that jab check when somebody's, like, walking up on them or dashing okay. up on them. And yeah. that's basically to make sure, like, they don't My do some fuck shit, Avert. you know? Here you are. Yeah, you see Aver walked up on him, and then Sonic hit him with the jab check, which yeah, stopped the back two. Stop him from dashing in, okay? Back throw, skate fill. So uh, Sonic wins. Day. Basically, Sonic won neutral off of that jab check okay. and got, like, 30% damage. playing it safe right now. And you notice that Sonic is playing Mega back. Safe, oh, right? You notice that Sonic is playing Mega Safe. That's the thing. Like, he's playing Mega Mega Safe. Like, he's playing neutral. Like, he is staying out of Averick's range, and Averick is also staying out of Sonic's range. They're not just W keying at each other. You know what I mean? They're basically whiff punishing each other. They're they're trying to like make each other whiff so that they can they can uh they can get their combos off or whatever. 
So Sonic gets plus frames Ooh, an into the interactable. Nice because knockdown, when you knock someone down, you are plus. Try with a short hop. I don't know why. Drops the combo. It doesn't matter. Oh, what the? Does anyone beat his four one? How? Okay. Oh, nice. Ooh, See, nice and that's and that's why you don't roll against pros, chat. That's why you don't roll against pros. They know they're ready for it. They're ready for your wake up options. You know, they're ready for it. You notice that Aver, and this I, I've played against Aver before, and he told me that. He said that about a year ago. He said when he first got this game, he practiced all the wake up options and how to punish them. So he doesn't like waking up any kind of way doesn't do anything to him. You know? He literally know like, okay, he's gonna up three or he's gonna roll or he's gonna whatever. You know, you can react to these things, you know? Bro, You're put some in the corner. And grabs again. He's gonna grab loot. And because Sonic has no bar, that's a free grab. You know? Okay. Sonic has to read that. See, that's the thing. Like when you have no bar, you now need to actually read the wake up. And now you notice that Averick put a lot of once he got bar again, Averick immediately puts distance and resets neutral again. Because like I said, once people have bar in this game, they have more options and you gotta respect it. So that's like a common thing I'm noticing in this game. So I'm probably gonna stop talking about that going forward. But I hope you guys heard it. So I don't want to hear anybody complain about wake up options in this game anymore because Averick is showing you that if you can get the knockdown pressure and like I told you guys when I lab Scorpion as well, Scorpion has some of the best knockdown pressure in the game. Like Joker has really good knockdown pressure as well. As, uh, who else? Uh, Frost. Jax has – you guys might think Jax is broke or he has a lot of knockdown pressure, but he actually doesn't. Scorpion has way more – has double the knockdown pressure that Jax has actually. So – you notice that Sonic is respecting and he's not waking up doing a bunch of bullshit because he knows that Averick will punish it because he's like fucking minus 30, minus 40, minus 50 on every time he knocks him down. So that's how you get fucking, that's how you get looped by Scorpion, you know? Neutral. Recess neutral you see, he again. just keeps resetting neutral because Sonic's got bar, you know? Sonic is not getting shimmy, bro, whatsoever. And Ninja Killer keeps saying that over and over again. He keeps saying it over and over again. He keeps saying Sonic Fox is not getting shimmy. And you know why Sonic Fox is not getting shimmy? Because he's ready to take the throw. If he has, like, I would say 30% health, that's like two or three throws that he could take. Uh, never did complain about those. We'll keep doing so for that shitty Fatal Blow mechanic. Fatal Blow is kind of shit, but, you know. You got to respect. You got to treat that like an up three or an up two, basically. You got to kind of respect it. If they have it, you got to respect it, you know? That's kind of like the thing. Oh, no duck? Yeah, Aver's just going to keep resetting oh, neutral. Oh, and then he gets the whiff punish. Okay, resets the neutral. Resets the neutral. Doesn't get shimmied. Yep. Nice Sonic Fox is not nice getting shimmied tag. again. Aver is literally trying to shimmy the fuck out of Sonic. And Sonic okay. will not allow himself to get shimmied. Nice. Nice whiff punish from Aver. Oh, my God. So basically, like with you cannot Aver poke Averick, bro, or you're eating a back one. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> you see about down two. Uh oh, back very dash. nice back dash right there uh -huh. by Sonic uh -huh. Fox, actually. And builds up a crushing blow. He got shimmy there though. I mean, he that was a scramble situation though. That was a scramble situation. See, Averick won that because he just kept teleporting on his ass. He, I wouldn't even say that was a shimmy. I would say that's kind of like a mix. Because he basically did two teleport cancels back to back. And you now have to guess. In any of those, like, you, you, do you know how many decisions he threw at Sonic right there? He threw so many decisions at him. He basically threw, am I going to teleport? Thanks for being out the game. <laughs> am I going to amp teleport? Am I going to teleport cancel grab? Am I going to teleport cancel back one? Am I going to do Better two? yet. I'm going to go teleport cancel spear. What's good? Yeah, that too. Teleport cancel spear. That's a thing. Well, let me catch you jumping. Yeah, that is a thing. That's a thing. He could teleport cancel spear if you try to interrupt. He has too many tools. Yeah, he gave he he hit he overloaded Sonic with too many decisions to make in a very short amount of time. You're, you you're. Know? But hey, Meta, I gotta go help my grandma with her new bed. Okay, All right, I I'll catch you. Thanks for coming through, man. Hey, yo, this bed is weird. I don't know if you ever seen a bed like this. But she has a bed that freaking elevates, right? It's like a medical bed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but I catch you. All right, peace out. Anyway, so, um, but yeah, I would say it's not necessarily getting shimmied. I was, it's just a lot of decisions being made in a very short amount of time.
I guess you could call it a shimmy. Why not? Joking about? I guess it. I don't know why. That's okay. safe. All of that is safe, by the way. Avery fights his way out, though. Not trying to eat that damage. Ooh, ooh. Taking a lot of chip damage. Punish. Yeah, that's that's unsafe. Nice setup from Sonic. Yeah, Avery has to hold this mix right now. But he, he says, "Fuck the mix." He just fucking, he just challenges, bro. He doesn't give a shit. Okay. All right, so Avery's gonna keep him in a corner. He's gonna get those plus frames. Wait, and you know why Sonic did that, right? Because the last time he got knocked down in the corner, Avery went immediately for a meaty grab. He went for it immediately. The last time that Sonic had no bar, Avery went for a grab. So I think that was Sonic trying to make a read, and Avery read the read. Avery basically said, I know you think I'm about to grab. Oh my god, hold up. Because you know Joker's a problem when Once again. Up, oh, spoke too soon. And he's dead. Just and there you go, you notice, even here. Yeah, that was it was a shimmy high, but I agree with the information overlord causing brain fart and pressing buttons. I mean, yeah, we could call it a shimmy, but I mean it was just I, I prefer to think of it as information overload. Like check this out right oh here. Oh my god. Oh now they're both guessing for game, right? Aver gets the dash up. He's expecting a wake up. He's expecting wake up something from Sonic Fox, right? This is how Avery lost. Is he was he respected Sonic Fox's options right here. Which he should do because Sonic Fox has bar and he's got fatal. So to press anything right now would be literally throwing the game. And he's in fatal blow death range. So like wake up fatal would kill him here. Wake up up three could kill him by giving Sonic Fox his turn and then now he's got to deal with the mix. But all that happened here is they both respected each other. They both respected each other right here. So Avery saw the neutral duck. He reacted in time with the with the with the jab to check Sonic Fox. Like, okay, I'm gonna jab you here. Now what? You know? No Joker's a problem when he got fatal blow. And then he gets shimmy. And then Avery got shimmy. He got shimmy after the fatal blow cancel. So there you go. And then he lost. So basically this is uh who's shimmy who's the best. Basically. This whole set is who gets shimmy and who doesn't because he got shimmy right here. He thought it was a grab Yeah, more than likely synesthesia. That's probably correct as well Up, oh, spoke too soon And he's dead just like that I'm Telling you jokers a problem unless you got a fatal blow final round fight Oh, get hit by mm. the four two one wake up up three Okay. Nice low profile right there. Four throw. Oh, nice take on from Avert. Okay, nice back throw from Sonic. Stuck in the corner. Raw back four two. Uh huh, uh huh. Nice. 30%. Whipping it down two. Oh my god. Oh, what's up with Avert not finishing Aver. these combos though? Aver. Yeah, I don't know what was going on. I think that was nerves. I think that had to do with nerves or input error. But Avery drops a lot of combos this entire set, actually. Like, Avery was dropping a lot of shit. And that's actually very uncharacteristic of him. Because I've watched his streams and I've seen him play a lot. And he, he never drops anything. So I'm going to just put that up because of special moves being so minus. Yeah, that too. Oh. From Sonic. Stuck in the corner. Raw back forward two. That was a good block uh, by Avery uh, right uh. there. Nice. Goes for optimal 30%. in that situation. Whipping it down too. So Sonic Fox gets shimmied again. Sonic Fox got shimmied again, chat. He got shimmied right there. Big time. That was a fat shimmy. You saw that dash in, dash out shit? I've been doing that shit a lot with Jax. That shit is actually crazy. Like, you can literally get people to Stuck press just off movement alone. Raw back forward two. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, let's put nice. this in point two five real quick. Whipping it ah. down two. Oh. I missed it. Hold on a second. All right, here we go. Hold on a second. Let's put that in half speed real quick. 
I did come from Maybert. All right, so he gets okay, put in the corner. Back, uh, yeah, we already know about that Sonic. combo. Stuck in the corner. All right, so he gets the combo right here. Uh, uh, uh. All right, now let's look at this shimmy. Nice. Let's look at this shimmy right here. 30%. Look at this range. See, he backdash. Sonic Fox reacted too slow to the backdash. He saw him dash in. And then he reacted too slow to the dash, and by the time he had uh, done the down two, he had already backdash. And then that's how Aver got the whip punish right there. Whipping the down two, oh my god! He doing it again? Aver. Oh, but Sonic Fox got him that time. Guys, he's choking. Oh my, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt so bad. Sonic got him that time though. And he shimmied him perfectly. <laughs> and he's dead, bro. He's dead. Sonic Fox just made the biggest comeback. Did nah, you guys see like that comeback? Evil type. ECT type Joker comeback, the bro. King. Like, <laughs> you see what I mean when I say Joker's a problem, bro? Joker just made a 100% comeback in like two touches, by the way. <laughs> Can you guys imagine? Sonic Fox actually two touched this man. And he died. I like Joker, bro. I'm telling you, Joker is so scary once he has Fatal Blow. He's scarier than Johnny. Like, you cannot get touched. It's either you take the grab or you get shimmy. Which yes, one? you can. Yes, you play KO. Yo, that combat from Sonic was godlike, bro. Joker really lie. starts playing. We had Fatal. That's kind of how Jax plays as well. Set. Jax is the same. 1 1. I like in this set so far. The Joker. I'm out to MK play too. X that down two wouldn't have missed. But hey, let's get it, bro. Let's get it. That's probably true. Break choke that. Jax is yeah, the same way. Jax kind of like neighbor. his game. His game doesn't start until he has fatal. When right, Jax is low on life, he becomes kind of literally S tier. <laughs> like it's actually crazy. Gonna dominate this, but this is looking kind of even. Because by the time Jax is low on life, he's got fully eaten arms. The first to five. He's got fatal blow. He's got. Five fucking okay. KBs. Playing neutral right now. Man, in your game, how big are combos nice gonna be? Uh, combos are gonna be big, but they're not gonna do a lot of damage. Okay. Like, I would say 30% is gonna be considered a lot of damage. Oh, Another micro duck. Breaks away. That's a hard read. There's Another micro duck. Oh and I know why Aver does a lot of micro ducks because Joker, Joker has a lot of highs, and Joker relies on highs actually. You know what I mean? Joker really relies on highs. Like, a lot of his shit is high starters, except for his forward one. So, really, Sonic Fox needs to, at this point, after getting neutral duck multiple times by Averick, he should really only be throwing out mids. Like, I don't even understand at this point why he's still throwing out highs. Like, he tried to grab Averick, neutral ducked it. I mean, Averick's literally neutral ducking everything. Like, he's neutral ducking after every single string, every single thing he's neutral ducking. You know? <laughs> You might as well just start throwing out mids, because even if he blocks it, at least he can get a block string off, you know? Um, but yeah, you know, against people who like the neutral duck, you have to just hit him with the mids. But that might be also what Averick wants, so that he doesn't throw out, like, Joker's best stuff comes off the highs, you know? So, you know, I we'll swear, see. Like, Averick's like the best micro ducker in the scene right now. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be a flawless? Another whiff punish. Oh, don't approach me. Oh, okay, get saved by the down four. Try All right, so Sonic needs to, to stop getting cold with whiffing in neutral. Ooh. Okay, and build up the KB. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, oh he gets mixed. Okay. That's the mix. That oh, so smart from Sonic. did you see that, chat? I got hit by that myself. I remember, I remember when I saw that the first time, I was like, yeah, I nice definitely got him by that. Nice take from Avert. Oh, he tried to catch him with him. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's he dead. got shimmied. He got shimmied again. That was nice from Sonic. And builds up the KB. Okay, he got the crushing blow loaded. Yeah, he got shimmied again right there. I mean, there's, there's no Junior two ways about the it. Voices. Round two, fight. Okay, missed the hit confirm. Oop, tries to back dash. Oh, he almost caught Sonic whiffing again. Yeah, I don't think. Up, oh, Sonic is called whiffing again. Sonic tries to press after 4 3 again. 
Oh, whoa. Oh, he actually had to counter hit right there, like but Sonic didn't believe. Oh, he's whipping. Oh, Sonic, Sonic is big oh. whipping. This is a rare sight to see. Okay. Nice back Even one pros whiff. Yeah, listen, even Ninja Killer is surprised. No, that was actually a punish. His 4 TP cancel was minus 8, if you recall correctly, so slightly punishable. Oh, okay. Uh, Sonic Fox rarely whiffs. If we were to watch some footage of him playing, this is why I wanted to watch Final Combat instead of this because Sonic hadn't really played that much up until this point. So that's why I wanted to watch Final Combat when he was like, you know, playing every day, doing tournaments and stuff. Like, you rarely see Sonic whiffing in neutral like that. You know? Like, Sonic is just whiffing all over the place right now. Like, that's that's something you never really see. Like, he doesn't whiff like that. He, that's why Ninja Killer is surprised. He's like, wait a minute, Sonic is whiffing? What the fuck is going on? He's just whiffing all over the place. <laughs> Did Ninja win 10 0 with Averk after? Uh, I'm not too sure. Do they have a VOD for that? Does he have a VOD for that? Because I would like to see that, actually. <laughs> I wouldn't mind watching that, actually. But yeah, if you're a pro, you can't be whiffing. Like, you can't be whiffing, because, like, they, as you can see, Avert, you think so? Yes, Ninja play Avert first and Jukes afterwards. Uh, Let me go on Ninja Killer's channel right quick and see what's good. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah, here it is. Shit, there it is. Ninja Killer versus Avert. You guys want to watch this? Ninja Killer versus Avert? I think this might be better. You guys down? That was a whooping. Nah, let's watch it. Hold on a second. Blue Kang. Blue Kang. Scorpion. All right, let's do it. I think it might be better because Sonic Fox, like, he took a long vacation and he wasn't really, like, he wasn't really in top form. Oh, Jaren, I actually forgot about the pronouns, actually. I completely forgot about the pronouns, actually. Thank you for reminding me. I do respect people's pronoun choices, so. Honestly, I just forgot, because I'm actually fucking exhausted. But, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we need to rewind this shit because what is this? Avert already, already getting fucking smashed. Hold on a second. What is this pronoun thing? Sonic Fox prefers to be called they and them instead of he or she. So that was a trade into a one-two. Meeting him with the stand two, hitting him with the one-two block string. Meeting him with the forward four. Aver tried to wake up with buttons. Was that a read or what? Holy shit. Aver tried to wake up with something right there. He died for it. Nice sweep. Gets plus frames. Wow. He doesn't even care. He knew. Wow. Ninja Killer knew right there. You try to be considerate of it. All good. Yeah, Tweety versus Curdo beef money match was pure guilty pleasure. Uh, we can analyze that another time if you want. Yo, Ninja Killer, like, did you guys see that right there? He knew that he was going to TP cancel. Look at this. Look at this. I want to play this in slower motion, 0.75. All right, so he gets the sweep, gets the plus frames. They both neutral duck. Ninja Killer knew. He knew. You saw that, right? You saw that You saw that dash up, right? 
Look, he knew. Look, look at this shit. He knew. He knew. Chat, he knew. That wasn't even a thing. He knew. He fucking knew. All right, gets plus frames, forces him to hold the mix. Aver tries to respond, but that was a perfect meaty, by the way. If you get a flawless block when you meaty somebody, that means that was literally perfectly, perfectly timed. Nice false block right there. That was a shimmy. Oh, that was a micro duck. That was a read. Oh, yeah, Aver tried to interrupt that as well, but he was too late. He was too slow. He's trying to do something on Wake Up. What is he doing? Damn, he gets opened up again. Jesus Christ. All right, hard knockdown. Gets those plus frames. Damn, another micro duck by Ninja Killer. Ninja Killer literally beat him with one, two, three. He beat him literally with one, two, three bicycle kick. Literally. He only did one thing that move that game. One, two, three bicycle kick. The whole that whole round. That was crazy. He caught Aver pressing something right there with the back one. Nice micro deck, but somehow he got grabbed anyway. Yo, what is this movement? Ninja Killer's movement is ridiculous right now. That's why you hardly ever throw out highs. Avery tried to micro duck again and then kill it, adapt it. <laughs> oh, that was that was smart. I wonder what made Avery think he was gonna throw something out right there because he just neutral another micro duck. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow, did you guys see that? Did y'all see that? Hold on a second. Did y'all see that shit? I, I think that happened too fast. I think that happened too fast. I don't think y'all seen that. I don't think y'all saw it. Look at this shit. Look at that. Look at this. <sighs> he called. Not only did he call out the... Wow. Okay. That that's godlike reactions, by the way. Scorp is slow mids. That's nuts. I mean his fastest string is the one one two, so I guess yeah, what are you gonna take your turn back in that situation? Ninja Killer pretty much put him in a checkmate situation. You know? Ninja Killer's a god. This is why you only throw mids, man. Bless Jax. <laughs> That's a that was a checkmate situation, by the way. You know that, right? I think I think that was a checkmate situation. That was a read and a half. Yeah, that that was a checkmate situation right there. Because if he respects that, then Ninja Killer gets another turn and another mix up, right? So he has to do one one two. Because he's in his face. He can't do anything else. Because Ninja Killer's gonna steal his turn back no matter what. You know? So that's the first thing. The second thing is that he micro ducks the one and then he immediately reacts with one, two, three. So like, do you know how, you know, like the window in between one and one, one, you literally, yeah, I mean, it is a seven, three matchup, but I mean, both of these guys are really good. So I don't think matchup rate matters to them, you know? It might be nonsense. No, I mean, it is a good matchup for Liu Kang as well. But I, like I said, I think at their level, I think at the level of play that they're playing at, I don't think that really matters, honestly. So what I'm going to say is this, because that was a read. That was a read. That was a hard read. Like, Avert could have won if Ninja Killer did not make that read. You understand? Like, you need to understand that that shit was... Uh, 
and you notice that it was his turn, right? And here's 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 how it happened, right? Check this out. He gets the combo. Averk is now plus 30 right here, right? Averk is now plus 30, by the way. 1-1-2 one, one, knockdown is plus 30. That's the reason why he did it. That's why he ended his combo that way. You know what I'm saying? When you see a scorpion in their combo like that, it's because they want plus frames. They want to see you wake up, and then they want to punish it. You understand? So this is what happens right here. He missed. He missed. Delayed wake up. Delayed wake up right there is what saved a which saved Ninja Killer from getting meaty. You feel what I'm saying? He did forward three, which is correct, but he did it too early. Basically, if he had waited, and this kind of happens when you're in the heat of the moment, so I can't blame Aver for doing that. Mike Trilinski, cap. I can't blame him for doing that, but like when you're in the heat of the moment and you're afraid of their wake up options, you're always going to try to go for something. Ninja Killer saw that. Thamer tried to convince Aver to come to PC last week. Aver was on Thamer stream. Aver has hosted me before, by the way. On my stream. He's been in my stream for a bunch of times, actually. I need to put some respect on just Meta's name, chat. You've had everybody through here. You've had everybody through here, chat. So anyway, moving on. Point is, um... Averick's the homie? Exactly. Point is, um... Here's the point. He missed the meaty. And this is when it started to go downhill for him. And I could I could tell you from experience that when you get those plus frames and you miss your meaty like that, then then shit really starts to go downhill for you. You know, because you need that. He needed that meaty. He needed the force ninja killer to stop pressing buttons. Like right here, he needed ninja killer to not wake up, do anything. He needed ninja killer to block so that he could get a, a mix. You understand? But he misses the meaty, and that allows ninja killer to wake up one, two, three. Which this, like I said, is a checkmate situation for Ninja Killer because now he's like, only thing you can do is block or one one. Remove micro delay. <laughs> you know. No wake up. Uh, delayed. What's one two three on block? Um, uh, you think four three recovers faster on whiff than on block? It does, but it doesn't matter against Liu Kang. Liu Kang has some of the fastest wake up buttons in the game. Look, I'm gonna show this to you guys in slow mo, because I explained the wake up game before. So I'm gonna explain it again why why this works and why Liu Kang has such good wake up buttons. All right, now check this out. Here's what's gonna happen. Look at how look at when he whiffs. Look at the way that he whiffs it. Now here's. Here's what he did. If he had did forward three now and then did another forward three, if he had did forward three now and then another forward three, right, he would have probably meetied uh, Ninja Killer perfectly. But what he did was dash up and then forward three. So he basically planned for a short delayed wake up, not a long delayed wake up. Look at what happens with his forward three. See, he dashed up, moved up, and then he did forward three in the invincible wake-up frames. So, basically, he is now forced to block. He missed. Basically, that's a whiff. Because he wasn't planning on whiffing it. If he had whiffed it and then did it, because Scorpion, if you do delayed any of the delayed wake-ups, Scorpion can get two forward. He can get uh, two forward threes, right? He can whiff a forward three, and then he can do another forward three that will meet you, right? So basically, because he dashed up first, he dashed up first and did did forward three, he messed up his meaty timing right here, which allowed Ninja Killer to get up and do this. You see, look at this. You see? He literally was barely out of recovery at forward three. Yeah, he mistimed it. That was a mistiming. That was a mistake by Averick right there. That was a mistake. That allowed Ninja Killer to put him in a checkmate situation. You know? See? He dashed up, but he did the kick too early. He did the kick a little bit too early. And because he did that kick a little bit too early, Ninja Killer basically reacted to that. He said, oh, you missed your meaty. Okay. One, two, three. And now Averick has a decision to make. All right, he has two options, strike or throw. 
but they're both highs. Well, short delay and long delay is almost the same. And the great thing about delay is that it, rem this, it removes all your wake-up options. The only reason he was able to wake up with one, two, three like that is because Avert whiffed something over his head and was still in recovery. He's even lucky he got the flawless block right here. He's lucky that he was able to get a flawless block right here. You see what I mean? He was lucky. Look, look at how... Look, look at the recovery. Look, he was lucky to not get hit. He was lucky that he didn't get punished, actually. Averick was actually lucky that he didn't get punished right here. You see what I mean? Like, that was barely blocked, by the way. Like, he barely fucking blocked that. That was like a frame one reaction block. Like, he barely... He, he, he should have got punished. That was a read by Ninja Killer to say, oh, you whiffed, want to wake up, one, two, three, easy clap. Yeah, he got flawless because that was the first active frame he could block. Exactly. That's the only reason why that was a flawless block. He wasn't trying to flawless block that. He just got lucky that he was able to block it, actually. He made a mistake, and he died for his mistake. That's basically what it was. So you guys might, like I said, shit on the wake-up game, but there's a real wake-up game in Mortal Kombat, and you're literally seeing it play out right here. This is the wake-up game. Averick whiffed his wake up, his meaty. Ninja Killer woke up with buttons. You know? Ninja Killer woke up with buttons. Averick now needs to make a decision. Ninja Killer ducks. Because once again, checkmate situation. And in the gap of one and one, he did one one. Look at this. In the in the gap of one one, Ninja Killer gets one, two, Fatal. Ninja Killer gets 1-2 Fatal. In the gap of 1-1, one, one, chat. In the gap. That's some high-level shit right there, chat. We legit had to break that down for like a year. <laughs> That's how high-level that was. That we had to break that whole situation down right there. If one one was as fast as lose one two, it wouldn't have whiffed. You can you could go in between one lose one two as well. By the way, you could do the same thing to Lou. You can go in between lose one two. He got counter hit actually because he was at the startup of the second one, so that was a counter. You could do the same thing to Lou if you duck the first one. You could down two the second one before the second one comes out. If you react fast enough. You can do that. You can do that same thing to Liu Kang. You could duck one, and then you can you can hit him before the two comes out. A lot of those one 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 two strings are like that. So what the fuck happened right there? Hold the phone. What happened right there? What the fuck? I think Avery tried to challenge. Yeah, what happened right there, bro? What the fuck? What happened right here? That's the real question. He thought he was going to end the string? Yeah, but I mean, that's a 10-frame gap. Anybody can open that up. He he pressed something, but whatever he pressed, it was too late. You can't even see it. Oh, yeah, you see. You, you can see what happened. Check this out. You can see what happened. Look. Look, you can see what happened. He let go a block late. He pressed late. Nice throw tech. Big flawless block. So let's let's talk about that flawless block actually. Oh, where is it? All right, there it is. All right, so. You could tell right here. Okay, so when Ninja Killer does wake up buttons after delay, wake up, he's a god. When I do it, I'm a scrub and everyone laughs at you. He's teleporting before fireballs. <laughs> Was it a failed flawless block attempt? No, because that, that move only crushing blows on counter hit. Which means he pressed something. It's because his worked. 
No, see the difference is yo, but he's not doing it randomly. He woke up buttons because Avery whiffed something over his head. All right, so Avery gets the punish here, but he didn't believe in it. So now let's break this situation down right here. Let's break this scenario down. He tries to get the throw. Ninja Kill attacks it. Now we're in a scramble situation. And now what did I tell you guys about flawless blocking jails? Right? That wasn't forward three. That was down three. That was down three. He tried to go down three, one, one jail. That's a jail. You can jail even if the first hit hits. So, for example, you can you can flawless block a jail. So, he, Avery tried to jail right here. You see what I mean? Avery tried to jail. He was like, okay, I'm going to low profile jail. He jailed. He got the down three. So, now he's plus. But Ninja Killer flawless blocked it because you can flawless block a jail. So, for example, if Garrus hits you with six frame down one and then he goes for stand one, which is a jail. You could flawless block the stand one, even if you got hit by the down one. And you could take your turn back. So basically, there's a counterplay to getting jailed. You, you understand what I'm saying? So that's basically what happened here, is that uh, Avert tried to jail him. He got the counter hit because you saw Ninja Killer wanted to go for a throw right here. All right. Yeah, just easier said than done. Actually, it's very easy. You block as soon as you get hit. You block as soon as you get hit. So you hear the sound of you getting hit. You you press block. And you get an automatic flawless block. Automatic. Most of the time. Jailing. When someone tries to jail. You basically get a free flawless block. If you react fast enough. Like Blaze actually taught me that. Let me see if I can open up the game. And show you guys real quick. Hold on a second. Let's open up the game real quick. Uh, let me pull up the fight stick real quick, chat. Anyway, I'm glad you guys are hanging out today. I, I, I wanted to do a viewer tournament, but I was also pretty tired from the other tournament. So I was like, let's just analyze some footage today. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to flawless block a jail. Just like Ninja Killer did right here. And then we're going to go back to the video. But yeah, so for the most part, it is possible if someone hits you with a down one and then a stand one. And then the new thing, you've never false block up to ever in a game. I've done it a few times in a game. Once you get used to it, it, it becomes pretty easy. Chat, we're already damn near close to 4,200. Can we make it happen? Alright, so, um, yeah, like, let's say we pick Garrus, right? Usually false block counter pokes after minus strings. Yeah, that's another thing you can do is false block counter pokes after minus strings as well. Jax. That's a thing. But let's say we pick Garrus, yes. right? Or we can pick what they're playing. So I'll be Lu. Lu Kang. Uh, versus Scorpion. Scorpion. And we'll be here. The Hourglass. We're going to recreate the situation. All right, let's recreate the situation. Uh, left, but I'm on the right side, close. All right. So I'm gonna have Scorpion do a reversal. I need to see if that actually jails So Hold on a second. Oh, I gotta let this up again. 
hit. Hold up. Ah, I keep pressing the wrong button. Hold on. Why do my buttons? Oh, because I'm doing it like it's Tekken. Oh, shit. There it is. No, I kept resetting like it was Tekken. I played too much Tekken this week. See what I mean? See what I mean? So yeah, you guys get the point, right? You guys get the point that that's a jailing situation, but you can still flawless block the jail. And I'm gonna try to see if I can make it even tighter, just to prove it even more. Try to save him after blocking the D3. Uh, if I block the D3, it's my turn. MK Tyler Durden. If you block the D3, it's your turn. So you don't need to worry about that. See? Yeah, so there you go. So there you go. Uh, I should probably leave this open. Uh, body five 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 six six four. Thanks for the host. Appreciate it. Uh, so let's go back to the video. Oh, my video doesn't lag now that I got this game open. All right, so now he's gonna go into a full combo. Oh yeah, it's gonna lag if I have the game open. All right. Yeah, I can't wait for that new graphics card to come in chat. I can't wait for it. Uh, actually very useful if you got hit by second down one poke after double poke situation and take your turn back. Yeah, same thing about D1s. Any, any, any poke, you can take your turn back after. All right, so how did Avery get in this situation? Let's see. All right, so we know about this situation. And he did the optimal. Oh, he did wake up buttons. He did wake up up three into buttons. And he caught Ninja Killer trying to jump. Oh, but once again, chat. Once again. You know about try blocking. It is hardest than on hit. Sorry, you don't have followers to watch what you try to help. It's all good, buddy. It's all good. I appreciate it. Um, that was a similar. That was the same exact situation as the last game, chat. Same exact situation. Averick mistimed the meaty. He mistimed it. Look. Look, he gets the knockdown. Plus 30. He gets the plus 30 again. Same exact situation as last time. Watch this. He tries to go for forward three meaty. He goes for the four four meaty. Same exact thing. Oh, no, no. Not that time. Not that time. Ninja Killer actually jumped out of it. So Ninja Killer actually threw because he could have just woke up with buttons or he could have just woke up blocked. And took his turn back. But right here, this is where it is. He missed his media again. And he got punished for it. That was a real punish this time. So that was a short delayed wake up right there. A very short delayed wake up that allowed him to punish Averk. Because Averk started to get greedy. And he stopped respecting. I mean, because one thing about Liu Kang is even when he doesn't, bar, doesn't have bar, you need to respect wake up buttons by Liu Kang. Like, you need to know that he's able to do it. And if you're going to try to go for a media against Liu Kang, you need to make sure that it hits. Because if it doesn't hit, yeah, Lou, Lou is fast as fuck with his wake up. And I can tell you that right now. Like, Lou is mega fast with his wake up. Mega fast. 
like Lewis is super duper quick. Like, I mean, his he still has to wait the 20 frames, but he could instantaneously have his arm out at you with the one two. Like, what's the startup of one two? Like eight frames or something like that? Like it's it's really fast. You know? You hate that, have to read wake up delay. Reading wake up delay is better, actually. if if Averick just took a second, he got punished. Because he wanted to continue his streak. He wanted to uh, keep applying pressure. But this is how you get hit by wake-up shit. You get hit by wake-up shit because you don't respect wake-up options. Even though Liu Kang has no bar, he always has wake-up 1, 2, 3. Wake-up 1, 2, 3 is like one of the best wake-ups in the game. You know, wait, that's literally one of the best wake-up buttons in the game. Like, I would say best wake-up buttons in the game right now are Garrus's 1-1. One, one. Garrus is 1 1, really good wake up buttons. Um, Liu Kang's 1 2 3. Anybody else have any good wake up buttons that they know about? It's not mindless because you can still meaty Lou. Down 3 is meaty. That's a cap. Uh, what's another good set of wake up buttons? In the game, I know one one. I know one one by Garrus. A lot of Garrus players love to wake up with one one. You know, a lot of Garrus players love to wake up with one one. Scorps one one, not too bad. Wake up buttons either. Yeah, that's true. Scorps one one. It, yeah, Jackie wake. Jackie has the best wake up buttons, like hands down. Cetrion has pretty good wake up buttons with a stand one actually. So yeah, anyone who has like an eight frame or faster jab can basically wake up and instantly punch you in the face. Jay's down two. Jay's down two is like nine frames, right? That's a really good wake up button, actually. <laughs> nice flawless block. Double flawless block, but Aver didn't respect the flawless block. All right, gets the punish. He's going to try to go for the optimal. Oh, no, he gets the knockdown. Looking for a shimmy. Ninja Killer will not be shimmied. Once again, now this is a perfect example of priority. Ninja Killer is like, I don't have to do a goddamn thing. Look at this. Ninja Killer literally does nothing. Ninja Killer lets go a block. He literally like, I don't have to do a goddamn thing. Every character has a good wake up down one. Not, not That's not true. That's not true. Some characters have slower down ones than others. Basically, what I'm saying is that not everybody has good wake up buttons. Like you can still wake up with shit. Like just because it might be good on frame data, I'm talking about mostly reach. The reason why Liu Kang's one 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 two is good and Garrus's one one is good is because they're auto shimmies. Like if you try to like, if you miss your meaty, you're waking up, their arm is fully out, and you're getting hit, you know? He has to stop combo because the breakaway, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, synesthesia. So now, Averick is sitting here thinking like, okay, Ooh, sorry, he's like, all right, Ninja Killer doesn't have to do anything. You notice Ninja Killer is taking no more risk. Ninja Killer is literally taking no risk at all right now. Like, he's just looking at him like, what are you going to do? Because I don't need to do shit. You need to do everything right now. You know? Nice blocks. And Ninja Killer gets the punish. He just literally lets him kill himself. He literally just let Avert kill himself right there. Because Avert had to take all the risk. You know? In that situation, Avert had to take all the risk. There is no reason. And this is something I see a lot, actually. I see this a lot, even from people in PC League, that when they have life lead, they start getting more aggressive, and they start, like, chasing the enemy and running after the enemy, trying to get that last hit. Like, when you have life lead, bro, you don't got to do shit. You win. You literally win. They need to come to you, and they need to open you up. You just need to now defend and punish, if that makes any sense, you know? Damn. Mm. 
You don't want to get schmixed. You ain't that good. Well, you don't. You don't have to get schmixed. You just play neutral. You notice that Ninja Killer was playing neutral in that whole situation, right? I'm guilty of that myself. Not gonna lie. I used to do that a lot too until I realized, like, hey, wait a minute. I have life lead. I don't need to come to you. You need to come to me. I could just sit right here and you basically, as long as you have space in between you and them and you're a neutral, well, what are they going to do? They, they need to do something to you to open you up. So you saw Aver tried to do back to fatal, right? That was his mix. He was like, okay, I've been doing back to uh TP cancel. Maybe he'll think I'm going to do TP cancel and press. But once again, Ninja Killer is not going to get shimmied. He will take the throw. He has enough health to take two throws or one throw. He has enough health to take at least one throw. So once again, if I have enough health to take a throw, I will let you throw me, but I'm not getting opened up for a 30, 40, 50% combo. You know? Round one. Fight. If you guys want to see some real MKX tournaments, make sure you sub to the YouTube. Whoa, how did Aver get hit by that? Oh, Aver about to whiff in neutral. That's a yikes. Okay, nice. Nice. He gets to punish. Once again, Aver missed times the meeting. Ninja Killer is the god at wake up games, man. Look at this. Look at this. It happened again. Aver is literally losing for one reason. Look at this. It happened again. All right. Gets the knockdown. Misses the meeting again. Blocks on the first available frame again. Yeah, he, he's got to work on that. You guys saw that shit, right? He missed it again. Look, he missed it again. All right, but he called out the one-two stagger, so that's good. Oh, he tried to short hop, but... See now this is this is the mind game now. This is a that's a mind game. That's a straight up mind game. Look at this. This is a mind game now. Because he knocked them down. Reacting to the flawless block doing the up three. I mean he can't do up three though, because Scorpion needs his bar for teleport cancels. That's why you never see him do any up threes or up twos because he he needs that bar to uh stay safe av has blocked after whiff on his meaty y he has to block because once again we just talked about that wake up buttons ninja killer sees the whiff now ninja killer has played so many mind games with the delayed wake up right watch this avrick short hops avrick waits short hops thinking that it's going to be another delayed wake up right so he's trying to short hop uh, wake up buttons but he wakes up instantaneously he wakes up immediately no delay this time ninja that was a make that was a mind game ninja killer now wakes up because he's trained he has now conditioned Averick to believe that he's going to uh, delay wake up every time now you know or do one form of short delay long delay short delay like he's been mixing up short delay long delay short delay long delay right He's like, Ninja Killer was mixing it up. <laughs> so now you're in a situation where um, Averick is now conditioned to think that you're going to do some sort of short or long delay. Now he does no delay and wake up buttons him anyway. <laughs> Hits him with the wake up buttons anyway. So that's, that's a mix. That's a mix off the wake up game chat. That's a real mix off the wake up game. That's actually nuts. Okay, nice wake up down one. Averick respecting the back one, but Puss is a little bit too late. Another micro duck, same exact thing. Ninja Killer basically, once again, knows checkmate situation. Forward four is just as good of a meaty as forward three. I mean, he tried forward four before Synesthesia, and, and Ninja Killer punished it. You remember? Last game, he punished it and actually killed him off the forward four. Uh, you saw that he micro ducked the one one again. Ninja Killer also once again micro duck the one one because what are you gonna do with that range except one one? You know what I mean? There's nothing else. That's a checkmate situation. That's always a free. Basically, Ninja Killer has realized that after a block string, all he has to take his turn back is either down one or one one. 
and one one gives him a combo so it's much more likely that a scorpion player is going to go for one one so you micro duck and you get the combo so Averick, i don't know how many games has it been already like two games and it seems like he hasn't he hasn't really adjusted to that fact that ninja killer will always do a reversal micro duck after all of his strings to dodge your one one yeah, see, he realized it now. And now Ninja Killer punished him again. See, Ninja Killer's fucking with Averick's mind right now, chat. I don't even think Ninja Killer's thing is reactions. His thing is mind games. He's fucking he's fucking with Averick. He's fucking with Averick's head right now. Because he has now conditioned Averick to two things. He's conditioned Averick to expect delayed wake-ups. Alright? So now he's not doing any delayed wake-ups. And now he's conditioned Averick to try to throw out a mid. It doesn't matter if it's slow. He's trying to condition him to stop doing 1-1. One, one. You understand? He's basically conditioning him like, don't throw out 1-1 one, one anymore. And now he has successfully conditioned Averick to stop throwing out 1-1. One, one. And now he just punished him for throwing out a mid. Because that was the solution before, right? The solution before was he kept neutral ducking your 1-1. One, one, so you should be throwing out a mid. And now he throws out a mid, and now he gets punished for it. A short punish, the down one, but it's a punish. Basically telling him, no, stupid. That's basically like a stupid, no, don't do that, stupid. That's kind of like what he did to him right there. Not to say that Aver is stupid. I'm just saying, like, Ninja Kill is, like, fucking with his head. You know what I mean? Kind of like, oh, you thought I was going to neutral duck again, uh, stupid. Uh, you thought I was going to wake up, uh, delay wake up again, stupid. One, two, ha ha. That's kind of like what Ninja Kill is doing to him right now. Like, it's actually funny if you break it down. Like, it's actually pretty crazy. And he takes his turn, neutral ducks. Throws out a down one because he took his turn too late. Yeah, he's fucking, he's fucking with him, man. Ninja Killer is fucking with this man's head. Big time. He's fucking with this man. He's fucking with Avery's head big time right now. Like, right now, I can tell you that I would be getting triggered right now. Like, I think all of us could say that we would, if this was happening to you, if you finally make the right read, but then he blocks it and punishes you for it, and it steals your turn, and is basically poking you to death in the corner, like, I, I would be fucking triggered at this point. Because it's like, goddamn. Not only do I let him do all this other shit, then when I do finally call it out, he blocks it and punishes it too. That This is the part where you start getting triggered. So let's see what Averick does. All right, so you see that Ninja Killer starts giving space, right? Because he now knows that he's in danger of random fatal. He's in danger. That's why you like MKX more. <laughs> he's in danger of random fatal now. Averick has f all the resources right now. So basically, comeback is a real possibility for Averick. All Averick need is a, is a down one, stand one jail, uh, one one into spear, into whatever. You know, one one spear into one one fatal. Keep it all unbreakable. Um, that's all he needs to turn this match around. So this is the part where Ninja Killer is now going to say once again, hey, Averick, it's on you. You need to chase me now. Do your thing, you know. I'm gonna let you. Uh, I'm gonna let you out of this jail because you have too many resources. Because Ninja Killer basically had him in the jail, and this is the reason why I understand why they made the fatal blow mechanic the way it is. Why they made um, the the resource the way it is because you need to understand that uh, if a per, a player like Ninja Killer would keep Averick in jail the entire game if there was no type of comeback mechanic. That comeback mechanic gives Averick a turn. Ninja Killer did not have to give him his turn. Averick playing Ninja Killer's game. Exactly. Ninja Killer did not have to give him a turn right now. But the only reason is because the way the game is designed is that it allows Averick to have a turn while he's losing. So what you need to do when they have all these resources available is you need to back off, reset neutral, and let them kill themselves. And this is probably what Ninja Killer is about to do. Ninja Killer is going to wait for him to kill himself. All right, so he calls out the teleport cancel. Hits him with the fireball. Like, hey, I'm ready for it. You know? Let's Averick kill himself again. He's ready for it. And hits him with the 50-50 at the end. Literally, literally killing himself. 
Now, just so you know, one, two, three, uh, Shaolin stance three jails is real. So the reason why he did the overhead is probably because he expected the low, the low jails, and it's a real combo. But the overhead is not. So there you go. Ninja Killer basically allowed him to kill himself right there. Uh, Averk actually just killed himself right there. He just killed himself trying to get in. So it's the same thing. You guys are now starting to see the Ninja Killer game plan, right? Like the Ninja Killer game plan is I'm going to condition my opponent. He's out of resources, doesn't know what to do anymore. Well, he's not out of resources. He has plenty of resources. He just needs to get in without killing himself. You know, Ninja Killer showed, hey, I, I, I am ready to react to anything you do. Just because I let you have a turn doesn't mean that I'm not going to react to anything that you do. You understand what I'm saying? So Ninja Killer, not only his game plan is basically condition the opponent, resources in terms of ideas. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's a good one. So, yeah. So, I mean, that's uh, that's crazy. You know, I mean, we're, we're starting to notice a Ninja Killer game plan here chat a ninja killer game plan Think faster. yeah <laughs> and that's why Luke, and now i'm understanding why Luke Kang is saying think faster because he's literally telling him hey you need to think faster bro you you actually need to think faster like like for real if you're gonna play against a ninja killer ninja killer is Luke Kang, bro you need to actually think faster because you're not playing against Liu Kang. You're now playing against Ninja Killer. This is no longer Liu Kang, Chad. Don't think of this as Liu Kang anymore. This is not Liu Kang. Liu Kang doesn't exist anymore, Chad. This is, you are now fighting the actual Ninja Killer. And he is big braiding the fuck out of you. It's not even Liu Kang that's killing you. It's, it's Ninja Killer that's killing you. <laughs> lose MKX Crow. Use your head or lose it. <laughs> exactly. All right, Ninja Kill is ready for it again. Nice trait. Takes his turn with the down one. Oh, he thought it was going to be a single. Catches him. Wow, catches him again. Yeah, Averick's literally killing himself. All right. Ninja Killer gets caught whiffing in neutral, though. I wonder what that was about. Let's check this out and figure out what happened here. I think he was expecting Averick to walk forward again. Like, Averick has literally been walking forward and killing himself. See? Again. Oh, I think he messed up a dash. I think he messed up a dash. I think that's what happened there. Either that was an input error into a dash, or he expected wake-up buttons. I think he messed up a dash. I think it's more likely that he messed up a dash. Because he was going for a shimmy here. Look. See, he messed up a dash. He, I think he meant to do forward dash. I think he assumed up three. That e either he assumed up three, a wake up buttons, or he messed up his dash. But actually, Averk has changed. Averk did delayed wake up. He did short delayed wake up, allowed him to whiff, and gets the back two punish. So he basically just pulled a ninja killer right there. He actually just pulled a Ninja Killer. He faked them out, made him think he was going to go for the up three. Ninja Killer tried to whiff punish the up three. And he actually did wake up back two. Forces the breakaway. Same problem. You see it, Chad. Every time Aver gets advantage, he throws it away. Specifically against the Ninja Killer. Aver actually did. Didn't Aver had that same issue with Ninja Killer? The miss, I mean, with, with Sonic Fox, I think. Like, he was mistiming some meaties against Sonic Fox. Either these players are really good at mixing up their wake up timing, or Averick is really bad at telling when people are going to wake up or reacting to people's wake ups. It's either either one, and I'm not really sh I'm not sure which one it is. I'm starting to lean more towards maybe it's Ninja Killer being really good at mixing up his wake up timings. You know? But Averick missed his wake up timing again, by the way. He missed it again. And now he gets wake up grabbed. Alright, Averick's starting to play some neutral. 
All right, Avic's playing a little bit more safe now. Nice fall spot. Double down one. Avery actually just gave up his turn there. And he knows it. You think those players are just as good as each other? I think I think um I think it might be a mix of both. Like I even saw that Averk was missing a lot of media timing against Sonic Fox as well. So I think it could be that the pro players are just really, really good. Meaty with four three, usually a strong option against people who don't know. I'm talking about against pros. That doesn't work against pros. Whiffing a meaty is bad against pros. It's really bad. And now you see why. Against people who know, whiffing a meaty is not good. It might be good in combat league, which is what Averick plays a lot. Because people will just wake up block or whatever. But they know. Ninja Killer knows better. So that's not going to work. Whiffing, whiffing to these guys is literally dying. Like if you whiff on Ninja Killer, you, you're literally throwing the game. You know? <laughs> It stuffs so many wake up attacks. Yeah, I mean, four or three does stuff wake up attacks if it's timed correctly. I mean, I spent like a week practicing that with Scorpion and a bunch of other people. That might be a bad combat league habit to just whiff a forward three over their head and then do something. But that's not going to work against Ninja Killer. Ninja Killer will wake up and punish you for whiffing. Like, if you whiff on Ninja Killer, it doesn't even matter if he's on the ground, he will wake up and make you pay for it. But that's a perfect example of double down one also not being good. That's a combat league habit as well. Right here. You can tell that this is a combat league habit. There's a couple of combat league habits in here that's causing him to lose against Ninja Killer. Look at this. Flawless block. They both whiff. He gets his turn. Ninja has a unique sense of frames. Yeah, Ninja Killer coming from the same streets as him. He knows the strat, that too. All right, so check this out. Avert takes his turn. He gets the counter hit off of the whiff jump in. But he, I think that was the autopilot, does double down one. He gave up his turn. He was supposed to jail. You understand? Now, if I ever talk to Avert, I'll ask him why he did that. Maybe he thought, once again... Ninja Killer does flawless block the jails. But I think that he legitimately could have jailed right there. And taken his turn at least. You know? And Ninja Killer has low bar. Last time he jailed, he got flawless blocks. That is true. So it could be a mix of either Averk was autopiloting in that moment. Or he did double down one in case Ninja Killer wanted to flawless block the jail. And I have a feeling that maybe, that maybe because he got flawless block last time, it's very possible that he did another down one just to check him and be like, don't flawless block. You know, that could be an option. <laughs> Even Avery got intimidated by that one flawless block. I mean, yeah, flawless blocking a jail is some OG, sh is some fucking gangster shit. So, yeah. I would be intimidated too. So it's very possible that he just basically said, all right, I'm just going to do two down ones here. And then he resets neutral because it's not his turn. So they both reset neutral because it's not their turn. Wow, that was a punish. Yeah, Ninja Killer's like, bro, stop doing that. That shit is not real. But second D1 would have been flawless block two. That is true. If he flaws, yep, you're right about that actually. You're actually right about that, Synesthesia. If he, if Ninja Killer was going to flawless block, then the D, the down one would have been flawless block as well as the stand one, which means that Ninja Killer was not planning to flawless block. Which means that it, it either Aver thought that he was going to flawless block and did double down one to check him, because I think down one has a different timing than stand one. Well, I know. It's actually the same timing. I think it's the same timing, actually, for the flaw spot. I might have to check this in the game, but I have a feeling that down one is stand one after down one hit. Yeah, he intimidated Averick with that one. Yeah, I think that was an intimidation. I think he wanted to just keep it safe and be like, all right. Yeah, because here's the thing. If he did stand one, he could get the up two, right? But down one is more safe, so maybe he could also block as well. If he flawless block and did, did up three, he could block that up three. 
if he did down one. So it's very possible that Averick said, I'm just going to do two down ones here if he tries the floss block reversal. <laughs> Stand one, same as down one, if you recall correctly. Yeah, but the but he's not doing one one, so he's not going to get launched. You can just to let you know, you can block a flawless block reversal, and you can also flawless block a flawless block reversal, and flawless block reversal the flawless block reversal. You could do that. You could do that, by the way, chat. It's a thing. It's a thing. Blaze uh, showed it to me in the in the what you call it not too long ago in the lab. Basically some flawless block reversals if you do like down one and then you flawless block their reversal if they flawless block you and then do a reversal if you do down one most down ones recover in time for you to also flawless block their reversal and then get another reversal for yourself so you can reversal the reversal basically oh that was a hard read that was a hard read yeah Aver, Aver, that was a big risk reward right there Ninja Killer wasn't respecting. Ninja Killer was not respecting right there. Ninja Killer started getting a little too cocky right there, I think. I think Ninja Killer started feeling himself right there. What do you what do you guys think? I think he started feeling himself right here. Nobody's double nobody's flaws blocking double down one. Uh you'd be surprised, bro. I've seen it happen in game. So what the fuck was he about to throw out right there? That was instant, bro. Avery just threw that shit out there. That wasn't a read. Avery just threw that shit out there, chat. He didn't even see. You they, He didn't even see him do anything. Look, he didn't see him do nothing. Look. Yeah, he just did it. <laughs> he just did it. He just fucking did it. That was just, uh, I'm just going to fucking do that shit. Oh, what happened there? Avery drops his combo. It was dangerous for him to do that down three right there. Oh, big shimmy. Now, Ninja Kill is playing with fire right here. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a lot of damage. Ninja Killer was playing with fire right there. Oh, that's unlucky. Yeah, Averick is also playing with fire. Yep, he chipped him out. Now, I will say this. Averick made the mistake of basically going in when he had life lead. There was only a few seconds left on the clock. He literally needed. But see, here's the thing, though. No, not true. All right. The argument could be made that he went in to get the kill because he didn't want to get zoned. But he's also Scorpion. He cannot be zoned. If Ninja Killer throws a fireball, that's a free teleport punish. On that low health, Ninja Killer can't survive it. So right there, I would say Avery got way too aggressive. Yeah, he could TP away. Yeah, I don't know why Avery went in right there. And I think it's because he finally made a big play. Like, when you, you're getting played around, like, we, we already said that Ninja Killer's been playing so many mind games with him. That once he finally had an advantage, he wanted to press. I'm sure, like, anybody would have done that. They, they, he, he just really wanted to press his advantage right there, you know. Oh, he caught him. Missed his meaty again. Avery needs to start hitting those forward threes, man. Catches him neutral ducking. That's plus. That's mega plus. Oh, he tried to go for another jail. No flaw spot that time, but he does get punished for it. Oh, that's a punish. All right, he's going to cash out. Oh, he missed his shimmy. No, don't whiff. Don't whiff, Avert. Don't whiff. Ninja Killer doesn't have to go in, remember. Ninja Killer's not going to go in. See? He's going to let you kill yourself. There it is. He's going to let you kill yourself. And that's it. Same same as always, chat. Same as always at this point. Nice counter hit. He caught Averick mashing. Averick takes his turn after the flawless block. Oh, 
Yep, that's a punish. Hard knockdown. Oh, but he hits him with the up three. Oh, and Ninja Kill is fucking with his head, man. Ninja Kill is fucking with his head. That's the first up three in the last, like, three games. And you want to know what's funny about that situation? Avert finally waited to try to get proper meaty timing. Averick finally waited to get proper meaty timing. So basically, Ninja Killer is just mixing him with wake-up options. Ninja Killer is legit mixing this man with just off wake-up options alone. He's he's mixing him with wake-ups. Like, that's actually crazy. And he gets out of the corner. Flawless blocks. Jesus Christ. Yeah, look, look Avery. <laughs> Avery doesn't know what to do. I mean, I'm sorry. Ninja Killer is, you feel like the up three is part. It's part of the cause for Averick's media actions. No, because if they, he's been mistiming every media regardless of what it is. He, he's been literally mistiming so much stuff. Like, it doesn't matter if it's been short delayed, long delay, no delay. He has been mistiming it all. Ninja Killer has noticed that he's been mistiming it and he's been abusing that fact that Averick has been mistiming everything. Like, Averick is really good, but a big weakness for him is timing those wake ups against people who know how to play the wake up game. It's so fast, it demands more caution than some other characters. Nah, I mean, I, I don't I don't think so. I think he's just mistiming it. Ninja Killer hasn't woken up with shit. He only wakes up with shit when Averick whiffs. If Averick doesn't whiff anything on him, Ninja Killer wake up block. You know you notice that, right? I don't know if you guys noticed that. If Averick doesn't whiff shit over his head, then Ninja Killer just wake up block most of the time. Ninja Killer wake up buttons or wake up up three because Averick is whiffing shit over his head. And then Ninja Killer's like, oh, I'm just going to punish that. Free punish. A whiff is a punish. And it doesn't matter if you're on the ground, you can still wake up and whiff punish it in this game. So there you go. Don't be whiffing shit over people's head, apparently. In Combat League, that shit works because people will respect that, but Ninja Kill is not going to respect that. Damn, that was quick. That was, that was really quick. That's a download. Yeah, and right there in that situation, look at this. Look at this. All right, he knocks him down, puts him in the corner, gets out of the corner. Flawless blocks that shit in neutral. AV must use more back 1-4 in neutral. Uh, you can't really use back 1-4 in neutral like that because back 1-4 is, is minus as fuck. You're more scared of pressing something on wake up with Lou than most characters. That's what your point was. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the same timing. Like, it's always 20 frames, and if you hit them... Or you throw out a move that's active after those 20 frames are over. He's getting hit. If he wakes up with buttons, he's getting hit. Liu Kang has to respect uh, meaties, by the way. Liu Kang is not special. He has to. Every character in this game has to respect meaties. The reason why Ninja Killer is not respecting Averick's meaty is because Averick keeps whiffing his meaties. You know what I mean? He keeps whiffing. Averick is losing because he's whiffing, chat. That's why he's losing. Ninja Killer is either making him whiff or Averick is getting mind fucked so hard by Ninja Killer that he's literally getting desperate and now he's just whiffing everything. And this is the part where Nin where Averick gives up. He just wakes up block. He has literally been conditioned to do nothing. Look at this. He doesn't know what to do anymore because everything he does has failed. Ninja Killer has literally called out everything. You notice Ninja Killer is not whiffing meaties over his head, right? Ninja Killer doesn't do meaties if you haven't noticed. He, if he does do a meaty, he makes sure that it hits or that you block it. Like, he's not whiffing his meaties. Like, you notice I haven't talked about Ninja Killer's meaties because when he meaties, he's hitting you. Like, it's timed correctly. You know, you either have to wake up block, wake up up three, but he needs his bar. Averick needs his bar, so he's not going to do wake up up threes that much. He needs his bar to play Scorpion. So now you're in a situation 
where you have no defensive meter, you have fatal blow, but Ninja Killer doesn't even care about your fatal blow. He's still going to sit here in your face, and he's just going to fucking mash on you. And Aver gets shimmied. And he got shimmied. You see, Ninja Killer always pauses for a second, and then he gets a perfect meaty. Aver has been whiffing his meaties, and that's the difference between the two. You feel what I'm saying? Ninja Killer's not whiffing. Raid Shadow Legends chat. Peggy 18. Welcome to the war effort. All right, next game chat, next game. Oh, he got the punish. Nice. Gets the breakaway. All right, Avery's starting to wake up. So once again, once again, chat, it happened again. It happened again. Look, chat, it happened again. It happened again. I, I'm going to keep breaking this shit down. Look at this. It happened again. Look, it's so fast that you will miss it if you didn't see it. Whiffs the meaty again. And he tries to go for a second one, but it gets neutral duck, and he gets punched in the balls. And Ninja Killer takes his turn. Oh, nice neutral duck, though, by Averick. Gets the combo. Into 42%. All right, N Averick, finally. Good meaties. All right, Avic playing a little bit more slow now. Oh, that's unlucky. Open him up anyway with the forward four. Now, you saw that, right? Let's analyze Ninja Killer's meaty. Look at this. I want you guys to look at Ninja Killer's meaty because we talked a lot about Averick's meaty. Let's look at Ninja Killer's meaty. All right, look at this. He waits. You see? He hit him as soon as he was able to block. Ninja Killer's not whiffing his meaties, guys. Ninja Killer, that's the difference. Avert keeps getting hit because he keeps whiffing his meaties. And Ninja Killer is not, is not whiffing his meaties. And that's why Avert is unable to do the same thing. You understand? He literally waited for the get-up animation, and then he pressed 2-1-2. And now he's respecting again. Flawless blocks the back uh, two. And it hits him with a 50-50 to end the game. Round two. Usai for next Ratchet and Clank game. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank are, is really fun. I had the first one that came out for PlayStation. One, two into grab. He's already trained him to respect the one, two anyway. Nice anti-air. Gets the combo. Let's go. Okay, gets the restand too into the back grab. All right, Avery's Aver, Aver starting to wake up. Oh, but he's grabbed. That's unlucky. He got grabbed as soon as he pressed block too. A little bit too much respect being shown right now. I like Ninja Killer once again. Wow, there it is. There it is, Chad. You saw it again. It happened again. One, two, three. Micro duck. Because all he could do is one, one after. All he could do is 1-1 one, one after. So it's the same thing again. Same mistake. I love every time you say Averk, you start with Avil. Yeah, the names are too close together, man. So you saw Averk right there fell for it again, right? He fell for it again. You ready for a Resident Evil? Orktastic. Village. You just beat seven. Uh, Village. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, point is... um. He fell for it again, by the way. And if you guys didn't see it, I'll slow it down for you. Check this out. All right. Does one, two. Micro duck, because what else are you going to do but one, one? He did it again.
Alright, he responded with a mid this time. Oh, damn. Ninja Killer got caught wave dashing. Missed time the meaty again. Yeah, Avery needs to work on that. Definitely. Nice walk up grab. He just walked up grab. Oh, perp. There it is. You see? He finally did it. So it took about three games. But Averick finally timed the meaty correctly. And now Ninja Killer has to hold the mix. Check this out. He timed it correctly. You see? He timed it correctly that time. And now, he's able to enforce his pressure. That's a punish. You see? You see the difference? Now, you see the difference that was made, right? You see the difference that was made right there. The one time that Averick timed his meaty correctly... He was not only able to put Ninja Killer on the defense, he forced Ninja Killer to take a, a risk to get the pressure off of him. And once he blocked the, the risk, the risky mix-up, he punished it and then killed him. And that's how you go on offense in this game, it seems like. If you time that meaty correctly, you're now the one on offense. You now have the advantage. They have to hold your mix-up, and they need to do something to get out of your pressure. All this time, it, won, it literally won him the round. By finally timing the meaty correctly. You know, it literally won him the round. Because all the other times he's been whiffing. And that's how Ninja Killer has been basically enforcing his pressure on him. So so it, it literally got him around. You know? It's pretty crazy how important Wake Up Game is in this game, actually. I burn with pain. Avery's doing pretty good, though. Nice back, too. All right. Oh, now, nah, all right. All right. That was good. Avery now seems to have started to realize his mistakes of the meaty situation. So now he's waiting. But he tried to go for a grab right there. Is Jack's stand three can be as good as a safe anti-air? Uh, stand three for Jax is not safe, by the way. Uh, you can use it as an anti-air, though. I have used it as an anti-air before, but it's a really slow startup. But it's not safe. If you whiff it, he could be punished. Um, now, Ninja Killer just made a read right there. That's just a read, Chad. That was just a fucking read. Like, I'm uh, I'm sorry for Averick right there, but that was, that was just a read. Ninja Killer just made a hard read right there. Because, I mean, think about it. He's got 1-1, one, one, or he's got a uh, grab... Or he's got, like, less likely to come out back one or forward four, right? I don't think that was a panic move from Avert. I don't think that was a panic move at all. I think that he wanted to meet you with a grab. Throw strike mix up. I think Ninja Killer just made a read because what's more likely to come out? One one or grab? Or back one or forward four? Which one is more likely to come out? You feel like he was too late? Uh, let's slow it down. Yeah, I think grab was a good option for Avert. I think grab was a smart play here. He respect it. He respect it. And that's what, uh, that's what we've been asking him to do. No, I mean, yeah, it should have been earlier. But if it was earlier, then he could have got hit by up three he could have got hit by wake up button so it's good that he respected ninja killer like i said made the read that was a read that was made right there if you're playing hunker down jacks has a legit anti-air option is back forward four i think is the input yeah yeah we know about that but back forward four is kind of ass back forward four is minus 55 on whiff so even if you do it he can get hit out of it it's unblockable, but he can get hit out of the jump. Like, if the lead-up jump, he can get hit out of it. And if you do jump kick in the air or jump punch in the air, you can knock him out of it as well. Like, it's, it's an ass anti-air. Um, yeah, he was waiting on one, two, three. He was waiting on some sort of wake-up option, which is what you're supposed to do, by the way. So, Averick made the right call. Ninja Killer just made a better read. Averick made a read. Ninja Killer made a, a better read.
You feel what I'm saying? Uh, Stelixi, what's going on? See, look at this. He made the right read. He read the delayed wake up. That was a long delayed wake up, by the way. He read the delayed wake up. He read the one two. He reacted actually fast enough. Ninja Killer read that, read that he was read, and he said, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Ninja Killer said, fuck it. Down two. Let's go. I'm sure you're going to throw out one. Ninja Killer made a read. He said, I'm sure you're either going to throw out one, one, or grab. Ninja Killer just made a read. Oh, and he does the optimal too. Into the sweep. Nice block. Nice reset neutral by Averick. Averick almost got whiff punished right there. Oh, gets the punish. Let's go. Forces a breakaway. Okay, good timing. Now, that would have been a great flawless block opportunity right there for Averick. That should have been a flawless block opportunity. If he wanted to maintain this pressure, that would have been a flawless block opportunity right there. Because he weighed it. That was a perfect meaty. So, I don't know if you notice. Averick's meaty timing has now improved. Okay? So, but he tried to jail. He tried to press after that. That that wasn't the play. He should have flawed. He, he, his, his forward three got blocked. It's not your turn, you know? Yeah, he tried to press. He tried to press after that. And that, that ended his pressure, basically. That basically took his pressure away. Ninja was always going to try to take his turn back in this situation. Averick should have been ready for that. Flawless block up two. Forward three is minus five. Yeah, that's a free flawless block. If he does down one or even stand one or even forward four or anything, that's a flawless block right there. Easy clap. That's an easy clap flawless block. Maybe just too late for the flawless. No, he did. He countered. He pressed the button. You only get a counter hit if you press a button or do a back dash. He pressed. He pressed something. He pressed stand one, maybe. And then he gets grabbed. Down one grab. So Ninja Killer basically says, get off me. All right? So, yeah, you got a combo. Yeah, that's great. Get the fuck off me. Averick fucked up in that situation because he should have expected. Well, if your forward three is blocked, he should have reacted with a flawless block right after. You can get a flawless block after forward three. After most pokes, if you block, like, right after or, like, slightly after, you can get a flawless spot after. Oh, that was nice. He caught him back walking. Respecting. That's good. Averick is now on the attack. He has life lead. Ninja Killer has to get to him now. So you notice Ninja Killer is trying to find a way in. Ninja Killer is looking for a way in. Averick is doing a lot of movement to make sure that Ninja Killer doesn't get in Scorpion. It's more accessible to strike throw game because on defense, his moves are really that good at keeping out, aren't that good at keeping out Lou. Scorp having the threat of being punished by breakaways and ending his combo early is really what hurts him as well. But Scorpion has the best strike throw, one of the best strike throw games in the game though. You know that, right? I already explained it before, but when Scorpion knocks you down, he's like plus 30. And that's like, that's a big part of um, Scorpion's game plan is constant knockdowns into strike throw, strike throw, strike throw, strike throw, mix up, you know, um, the teleport isn't even what makes Scorpion good. It's the strike throw game, you know, and Ninja Kill has been doing really good because he's been having Averick whiff all over the place. But now Averick is no longer whiffing, you know. Averick isn't whiffing anymore. So now if you notice, Ninja Kill is not pressing on him like that anymore. Ninja Kill is not being aggressive like that on him anymore. You feel what I'm saying? So with that being said, um, Ninja Killer now needs to find a way to get in to Averick without killing himself. Because now the situation is reversed. Averick is the one in the lead. Averick is the one uh, on, the, on the attack. And Ninja Killer is actually the one playing defense right now. So Ninja Killer basically, Averick fucked up. Averick could have actually killed Ninja Killer if he had flawless blocked his down one and took his turn back. He's waiting for a beam. Yeah, he's waiting for a fireball. He's waiting for something to whiff punish because he's waiting for Ninja Killer to kill himself. 
but game takes long doing 20% combos. I mean, if you keep opening up your opponent, does it really matter? You know? All right. Big respect. You know, did you see Ninja Killer's respect? Like, I talk about Averick not respecting certain things. But did you see the respect from Ninja Killer right here? Ninja Killer will not let himself get opened up. Look, he was ready to take a throw. Look at this. Ninja Killer was not going to get shimmy. Look at this. Look, Ninja Killer was not going to get shimmy. He's like, I'm not going to get shimmy. I'm not going to get whiff punish. I'm not going to get shimmy. Look at this respect. Look at the respect. He lets Aver take his turn. Aver gets the flawless block, but he wasn't ready. Aver tries to back dash, and he didn't respect. He didn't respect. You see the difference? He didn't respect. And because he didn't respect, he got hit with uh, one, two, three, fatal. Don't back dash or back walk against Liu Kang when he's got fatal, because he has an auto shimmy. And now, and now, look at where we're back to again. Say we're back to the same thing again, which is Averick needed to get in. He was trying to open his fatal blow. It was not respect. He's looking for other options after one, two, three, other than one, one. Look, look at this. He's looking. There's only one mix up here, chat. A lot of people think there's mad mix ups in this game. There's only one mix up throw or strike. There's only one mix up here throw or strike. That's what he was looking for. That's all he was looking for. Throw or strike. If it's a throw, I'm going to try to tech it. If I don't tech it, oh well. Matter of fact, he might not have even teched the throw. He probably wasn't even thinking about teching the throw because teching the throw wrong would give Scorpion a 50-50 throw crushing blow. He was probably just making sure that he didn't get opened up for a combo. And right now, Ninja Kill at 30% health. The only option uh, Averick has to kill is opening him up with 1-1. One, one. Did Koizy win the qualifiers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Koizy won the qualifiers last night. Uh, that was the last qualifiers. Next, by the way, if you guys are new, hit that follow button because we got the final 1,000 euro tournament coming up in um, next Saturday, actually. Koizy smells like cheese. <laughs> Koizy brought out the Cetrion, man. Koizy almost fucked around and didn't win. It was close. You told me then. Doesn't send the link. Nerd. Cap. All right. So um, right there, he's looking for a throw or a strike, right? All right. Now let's look at this situation right here. Let's look at this situation in slow-mo. All right. So he backdashes the back one. Flawless blocks the two, but it's a good thing he didn't do up two because he would have got hit by the four. You think throw will whiff there? Throw wouldn't have whiffed. Ninja Killer was holding block. Look, he was holding block. Look, he was holding block. He never let go of block. Look at Ninja Killer. He never let go of block. He was ready. To, he was ready to take a throw. Ninja Killer was ready to, ready to get thrown. He was ready for it. He was ready to get thrown, chat. Like, real talk. He been noticing something interesting as well. Most he could have done was one one two lose the turn or move back. He did one one back dash. Throw would not have whiffed right here. You feel like he should have done back two fake telly again. Being the lack of use of back two overhead, back three overhead. Oh yeah, Averick's not using back three a lot either. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that synesthesia. There's been a lot of not... He hasn't been using back three. That overhead would have been flawless. I don't think so. Ninja Killer was sitting here holding block. And back three is safe. In this situation, back three would have been the play. But at the same time, could Ninja Killer have reacted to that? Maybe. All right, check this out. So Ninja Killer reacts to the stagger, right? Yeah, Ninja Killer reacts to the stagger, right? He reacts to it. 
and he's like, all right, back one. He dodges it, flawless blocks the last two hits, takes his. Oh, so Avery actually took his turn and then gave it up. Oh, that's a yikes. Tez Almighty. So Avery took his turn right. I didn't even realize that he hit him. It's a good thing he didn't reversal that. He would have got blown up. But then he takes his turn right here. He takes his turn. He caught Ninja Killer not blocking. And then he does nothing. He, he backdashes. And then he tries to react to the fact that he took the turn. Hey, Tyler Durden, thanks for the gifted tier one sub, bro. Appreciate it. Tyler Durden, you need to sub yourself, bro. Um, check this out. So he actually, that was a mistake from Averick, actually. So that was a mistake from Averick, why he lost that. That was a mistake because he had it right here. He had the game right here. He literally won the game. If he had jailed into 1-1, one, one, I mean, yeah, Ninja Killer probably could have flawlessed it, maybe, if he reacted. But it was much more likely that he would have gotten hit in the fatal. But instead, he backdashed. And then he tries to take his turn, realizing, oh, wait, I hit him. But Ninja Killer had already said, oh, backdash? Cool, bro. Cool story, bro. Thanks for backdashing. So there you go. Thanks for backdashing. So yeah, Avery, Avery, Avery messed that up right there for himself. That was a mistake. That had to have been a mistake. And I'm sure he realized it after he backdashed. Yeah, Ninja Kill is not going to throw a fireball. Oh, he had it right there. He had it. Oh, oh my God. He had it again. He had it again. Hold up a second. He had it again. He caught Ninja Killer slipping again. Yeah, he caught him. Oh, wow. Mm. But I know why he didn't do that because the first hit didn't hit. He didn't he didn't he didn't cancel into it because he didn't realize probably that the first hit hit. Oh, but he, he gets an, he had another confirm. He confirmed the forward three as well. He did the forward three. Oh my god, he had at least three confirms, chat. Avery had at least three confirms here. That's one. That's two. Yeah. And then yeah. Ninja Killer gave him legit like three chances there. Oh man, Avery wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. <laughs> He wasn't ready. He didn't believe. Aver didn't believe. That's just as simple as that. He had it. He had it right there. He just did not believe. The hourglass. <sighs> Mans did not believe, chat. Mans did not believe. Maybe Avery doing 1-1 one, one too much and I'm mixing up with stand one, backdash, or throw, or finish it into 1-1-2 one, one, being safe on block. Yeah. He does 1-1-2 one, one, a lot, but yeah, you're right. He's not doing like a lot of stand ones. All right. Nice interruption. 1-2 camera flash. Now with Johnny, Johnny's good because you don't need to time your meaties with Johnny. He's got the stand two. Yeah, but hit confirming normal TP with amp is hard for someone like Ninja Killer for sure. You mean uh, Averick? I mean, I don't know. It's, it it, it could be tough. But um, here's the thing. Now, Johnny can get away with doing stand 2, 4-4. Uh, four, four. He can get away with doing stand 2, 4-4 four, four at any timing because that move kind of covers all the timings. You know? Like right here? Like that was a stand 2, 4-4 four, four thing, but he just did stand 2, kind of like fake out. Now, that, 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 that's fine. Because Johnny, you know, that, that's going to force Ninja Killer to wake up block, right? Because he's like, oh, is he going to do stand 244? And that's like mad kicks, right? So Ninja Killer wake up blocks. He's trying to fuzzy a high-low mix-up. All right, nice throw counter, big dash up. 
All right, take the throw, take the throw. Double down one. Doesn't take his turn back. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, yep. Oh, that was nice. Oh, no. Did Averick mess up his cancel right there? He's playing Showstopper, too. He could have did, like, 50%. Oh, he gets him. It's going to be a huge combo. Oh, but he misses the jump in. All right, but he gets it anyway. Off the back three, four. He expected breakaway. Oh, what happened here? Hold on. He expected breakaway. Oh, my gosh. He expected breakaway, so he didn't finish his combo. He didn't kill him because he thought he was going to break away. But pros don't break, chat. Pros don't use breakaway. Pros wake up fatal blow. So what happened here? Backdash. He caught him backdashing. He caught him backdashing. That's what happened. He caught him backdashing. Look. He did right. He caught him backdashing. Yep. He caught him backdashing. That's what happened. He tried to shimmy. And Ninja Killer said, stop it. Ninja Killer said, no shimmy for you. Stop it. Look at look look at Johnny's face. He's like, what? No. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. You tried to shimmy him on wake up. Should have just waited, man. Should have just waited. Should have respected. It. And that's what I always say. Respect those wake ups, chat. Respect them. Make that an emote. What, Johnny's face? What? <laughs> Gotta respect. What, pros don't break? <laughs> Pros don't break, chat. Pros don't break. All right, nice. Avery takes his turn back. Get some pressure. Hits him with the auto shimmy. Let's go. Corner carry. Good meaty. I respect it. Oh, caught him back dashing. He caught him back dashing. With the auto shimmy, he caught him back dashing right there. That was a back dash. Johnny's face with pros don't break. <laughs> yeah. Look. All right. Takes his turn. And then he tries to backdash after. And he gets clipped with forward four. And that's going to be a crush. And Ninja Killer read that backdash. Stand down next to Shonya. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that. We'll do pros don't break. That's a good idea. I can definitely add that. Um, Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There it is. All right, so Avery's gonna walk back now. No more, no more back dashing for Avery. All right, nice grab. Good neutral play from Avery this time around, though. Oh, what was that supposed to be? I think he wanted to do, uh, what was that, down forward? What was that, a punch? Yeah, I think he wanted to do back forward. Uh, yeah, yeah, he probably meant to do a projectile. Yeah, he probably meant to do that. Oh, damn. Yeah, Ninja Kill is trying to say, yep. Nice read, nice read. One wake up. Fatal blow, one wake up up three in a set from Ninja is unpredictable. I wouldn't say it's unpredictable. What I'm saying is he didn't respect the option. It's not about predicting or not predicting. It's about the option. You understand? Fatal blow was an option for Ninja Killer. He should have respected it. Hey, Dr. Omniponent, thanks for the follow. That set, this site was hype. Good morning, great analysis. Appreciate it. So what we noticed, for those of you just tuning in, what we did notice was that Averick was mistiming his meaties a lot earlier in the set. He's corrected that problem now, but Ninja Killer was basically mind-fucking him for most of the early set. So now, at this point, um, I would say that Averick... Is playing a bit better with Jody right now. He's not whiffing anymore. Oh, sorry. He's not whiffing anymore. He's not, um, you know, doing anything weird anymore. So 
at this point now it's just who's making the better reads at this point and i will say that they're both kind of making reads at an equal level it's just that Averick made some mistakes like there are some mistakes in Averick's gameplay that we're just not seeing from ninja killer ninja killer like has very like you notice i'm only talking about Averick's mistakes right like i haven't really seen any like when i slow down the footage i don't see any mistakes in ninja killer's play like the way he plays is so tight like, I don't really see a lot of mistakes in Ninja Killer's play, personally. And I'm not saying I'm the best player in the world. I'm just saying as a commentator, analyst, you know, someone who watches a shit ton of gameplay, you know, you start to see, you start to notice certain things, you know what I mean? And I'm noticing that there's some mistakes, probably from playing a lot of Combat League, that Averick is getting. Averick is just now starting to, like, you know, rise up on the scene. Like I, I, I've known Averick or known about him or known him since like last year. So he's he's always been a good Scorpion player. But I'm noticing that like now a lot of players are starting to play against these pros. So a lot of their combat league habits are starting to get exposed a little bit. You know what I mean? And Ninja is just fucking Ninja's on another level with his shit, man. Oh shit. All right, nice grab. Perfect media again by Ninja Killer. Nice call out on the stance cancel. Gets the plus frames. Tries to go for a shimmy. What did I tell you guys? Pros don't tech. Pros don't break. Pros ain't breaking away unless it's in, unless it's breakaway safe. Pros ain't teching your throw so that they don't get shimmied. That's how you not get shimmied. I'm going to start doing that. I don't give a fuck. If I, if I have more than 30%, if I have more than 20% health, I'm not taking the throw. I'm just letting you know that right now, going forward. That way you don't get shimmy. You see right there, you saw that dash in, dash out right there? Ninja Killer never let go of block. Right here. Check this out. He never let go of block. Look at this. Oh, he did let go of block. He was looking for the grab. So, yeah, he was spamming block, basically. But the point is, he made sure... He made sure that he didn't get shimmied, basically. He made sure that he didn't get shimmied with back 3-4. Takes his turn. Nice. Avery steals his turn from him. Nice. Ooh, nice. Call out right there. Oh, just catches him going in. I'm surprised he's not doing the blaze kick to get in. Avery's getting hit by too many fireballs. Yep, that's a punish. Oh, but he misses his combo. Avery dropped it. That's unlucky. Yeah, see, because of that combo drop, now Avery was in a strong position up until that combo drop. True, but then you can get chipped out. No, you can't get chipped out. You can't. Because once they hit you, if they do throw, it's your turn after the throw. Or you can tech the throw, and it's your turn. Or you can let them hit you, and you block it, and it's your turn. You see what I mean? So basically, it's the safest option. So right here, Averick was in a strong position. He had the life lead. He was in a very strong position until he once again gets caught back dashing. He got caught backdashing right here. He was in a very strong position right here, actually. He had the life lead. He had a pretty big life lead. Taking his time to get in. All right. He tries to go for the auto shimmy to catch him approaching. He gets the punish. Drops the combo. Tries to backdash out of the situation. Instead of just blocking. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. He made a mistake, and then he made another mistake after it that basically got him fucked. Because he was in a dominant position, and now he is in a defending position again. Because he made a mistake in not finishing the combo. He then tried to pick it up, and it didn't work. And then he tried to backdash to get out. And Ninja basically said, oh, you dropping combos? Cool, hold this one, two, three. And instead of him blocking it and taking his turn back, he basically uh, ate the combo for backdashing, and then he breaks away, and now he's in a bad situation. 
And now he's in a very bad situation because now he has no defensive bar. Ninja Killer no longer needs to respect your options at this point. He doesn't even have Fatal. So, yeah, he has no options right now. All he can do is delay wake up or, or regular wake up or a short or long delay. That's all he's got. That was a shimmy up attempt. Oh, he takes his turn, but he doesn't do anything with it. Oh, Avery, you, you got to do something with those down ones, man. He keeps taking his turn and backdashing, and I don't know why he does that. That was smart. He uses the fatal blow cancel to get the fuck out of that situation. He, he knew that was a bad situation. He knew that was a bad situation to be. He took his turn and he didn't. He basically had a turn and he and he basically gave away his turn. And then he realized, oh shit, I'm in a bad situation. Uses the fatal blow cancel, gets the fuck out of that situation, and is like, all right, let's let's just let's just cool this all down. Let's chill, chill. He basically, was like, yo, chill, yo, chill. All right, we got this. All right, chill. Backdash. Let me think. All right. So there you go. Oh, that's unlucky. Damn. Empty jump in the grab. So Avril killed uh, Averick killed himself again in that situation. He killed himself again. Digital Killer is literally letting Avril kill. Uh, oh, I keep saying Avril. Averick. He keeps letting Averick kill himself in that situation. Once again, not being patient with the fireball game. You know, Ninja Killer is just going to keep throwing fireballs at you because once again, he's the he's the one he's the aggressor in this situation right now because um, and yeah, Averick literally lost. So I could tell you why he lost there. He was winning until he dropped this combo. And that's not the reason he lost. He didn't lose because he dropped his combo. He lost because he um he lost because after he dropped this combo he tried to backdash out of the situation it was a counter hit uh let's find out he lost because he tried to backdash and then came off his breakaway and now ninja killer basically could do whatever he wanted yeah that was a throw counter he tried to press he tried to press something it was a throw counter but it doesn't matter if it's a throw counter or not what matters is that Averick killed himself from this moment on. From this moment right here, when he got in, he got that punish, and he dropped the combo. And he dropped it. And then he tried to backdash out. That's, that's, what, that's why he lost. That right there alone is the reason why he lost. Remember what I said, the one time Avery timed his meaty correctly, he won the match. The one time that he backdashes and gets punished, he loses. It's these, like, when you play against really good players, it usually comes down to one or two decisions. You know what I mean? It usually comes down to one or two decisions that they make better than you. You know? That was also a bad decision as well. Right here. Down one. Walk back. Why would you do that? He took his turn. See, Averick is flow charting. You feel what I'm saying? I'm starting to think that Averick might be flow charting. A little bit. Because he probably didn't expect that down one to hit. You know? Ninja Killer sees that. And he's like, oh, so you, you open me up with the down one, but then you don't take your turn. Okay. That's cool. And then Averick probably realizes that he fucks up. So then he resets neutral. So Ninja Killer's like, okay, that's fine. Reset neutral. Because I have the life lead. And that's fine for me. Because now I don't have to respect your fatal. You have no bar. You have no fatal. You, know, you, you see what I'm saying? And now he's like, okay, fireball game. Zoning game. Now all he had to do. All Averick had to do was block the fireball. Block the one, two that was coming up. Yeah, so right there he made the mistake of uh, thinking that Ninja Killer wouldn't amplify that fireball right there. <laughs> Give a monstrous player an inch and they'll take miles. I imagine that's tenfold with Ninja Killer. Yeah, I mean, that's basically the concept. Like, you give him an inch and he will take the whole match because you gave him an inch. You know? You, you basically gave him a backdash. You give him some neutral. He will take the whole game with it. And now, once he's in, 
there's now a mix up. And this is what I like about Ninja Killer because the last time that Avert got in, he did one, two, three, but Avert blocked it. He did one, two, three, uh, Shaolin Stance three. And Ninja and Avert punished it, but he didn't punish it correctly. So that's why Ninja Killer is still alive. So what Ninja Killer does this time to mix it up is Avert is thinking, okay, a one, two, three is coming. Ninja Killer says, nope. Empty jump, grab. <laughs> completely switches up the option. You know, just completely, completely flips the option on his head. So yeah, there it is. So there it is. That is why Ninja Kill is champion, chat. That's why he's champion. What can you say? What can you say, chat? That's that's why he's the champion. New people in the chat, hit that young follow button. Let's make it happen. A nice flawless block by Averk. Oh, Averk ain't dropping combos no more. Oh, he tried to whiff punish that. Oh, he's getting hit by fireball still. Nice back three. Nice stagger. That's plus. Oh, big shimmy into the grab. Let's go. All right, Av Averick is woken up, chat. Okay. All right, chat. Averick woke the fuck up. Averick has woken up, chat. I don't know what happened here, but man's woke up. Everything is perfect right now. Everything is perfect. Should we break this down? I mean, he's literally doing, he has literally corrected just about every mistake that I said that he was making up until this point. I think we should rewind it. Averick woke up. I'm not I don't even know if he wins the round. Alright, here we go. Let's put this in uh seven point seven five speed. Slow it down just a little bit. Fight. Fight. Nice false block, takes his turn. Ninja Killer gets caught pressing. Doesn't drop the combo. Recess to neutral. He made a mistake here by trying to whiff punish the one, two, three, but that's fine because Ninja Killer doesn't get anything from that. So that's 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 fine. All right, he wake up blocks. Gets hit by that too. That's another mistake, but we'll take that. Nice anti airs with the back three. Doesn't commit to the whole string on the meaty, which is smart. Because once again, I did say that Johnny is one of the few people who doesn't really have to worry about wake up timings because he's got the forward three. What is it? The forward three, four, four and the stand two, four, four. That kind of covers most wake up timings. So, you know, he throws that out there. Ninja kill is going to block because he's like, OK, the kicks are coming, but the kicks don't come. Instead, he opens them up. Ninja Killer probably thinking that there was only going to be one uh, Amplify, one Force Ball, because he had one bar. He probably didn't think that he was going to do the second bar, but Avery said fuck it and did it. All right, Shimmy's the down one. Yes, yeah, he, he now has Ninja Killer respecting. I don't know if you noticed, but this is what I said. Remember when I said that Ninja Killer is always ready to take the grab? He's not going to let himself get Shimmy, but he will take the grab. You know what I mean? Ninja Killer will take the grab. He will say, I would rather take the grab than eat a combo. So basically, in this situation, Ninja Killer just takes the grab. Punishes the roll. Remember what I said about wake up options? Just to let you know, we have a YouTube channel. We have a wake up options video being posted where we went really in depth on all the wake up options in this game and how to punish them. Um, but yeah. If you're not mashing on people's wake up and you respect people's wake up options, you can punish almost every wake up option. And that was a perfect example. He backdashed to accommodate a roll or to accommodate the up three. Instead of trying to go for these meaties. Instead of trying to go for these meaties, he's now backdashing and now reacting properly to what Ninja Kill is doing. Knocks him down again. Once again, Ninja Killer tries to wake up with buttons this time. He gets hit with the stand four. Remember what I said? That stand four, uh, stand two, four, four covers most wake up options. That's why I said that. Because look, look at what happens. 
Punishes that. Ninja Killer wakes up with buttons. Gets whiff punished. Eats the combo. Don't drop it. He can't uh, break away anyway. And there it is. Perfect round. Not perfect in terms of health lead, but perfect in terms of... Uh, perfect in terms of, like, reads. And Averick definitely came up right there. There it is, another whiff punish. Saving the bar. Takes his turn back from the down one. Flawless, there we go, Aver. That's what we're talking about. Oh, but he fucked up. He made a mistake. That was a mistake. I'll tell you what the mistake was in a second. That was a mistake. It was perfect. He dashed up, back dash. But he forgot the forward dash again. He should have forward dashed again. That's what got him punished right there. He would have grabbed him 100%, by the way. He would have grabbed Ninja Killer 100% if he had dashed up right there. If he had dashed up right there, that would have been 100% grab. And now his pressure is over, by the way. His pressure is over. Ninja Killer is out of jail now. So now that Ninja Killer is out of jail, let's see if Avert can get him back in jail. Because right now he had him in jail. So let's see if if Ninja Killer if 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 Avert can get Ninja Killer back in jail because that was the first time in this whole first to ten that Avert had Ninja Killer in jail or that's what I like to call it in jail basically like you know you you need to block weird move no that wasn't a weird move he failed his forward dash he did back dash he did forward dash back dash he got the shimmy and then he was supposed to forward dash again and get the grab. It forward dash again and grab but he failed the forward dash so now he's gonna get punished and ninja killer will react to that ninja killer reacts to that mistake got the flawless block again nice all right Avery's still playing much better Avery respecting oh but he gets shimmied Avery got shimmied see you see the difference between the pro and and the in the semi pro ninja killer would have taken that grab ninja killer if that was a grab ninja killer would have took the grab Ninja Killer would have took this grab. If this was a grab, Ninja Killer would have took it. Ninja Killer would have let himself, especially with 80% 80, 80 health, Ninja Killer would have definitely took that grab. See? He was doing good right here, and then he lets go a block. Ninja Killer would have took the grab. Averick did not take the grab, and now look at what's about to happen. This is why you take the grab, chat. Especially when you have a lot of life, this is why you take the grab. Grab is 40%, 14%. He just now he's getting opened up for like that was already like 40% that he just lost. All right, Averick now starting to not take any damage. But Ninja Killer could do this all day. Ninja Killer will actually do that all day. All right, nice forward three. Oh, he got caught whiffing, but no whiff punish. So Averick made a mistake there. He didn't get the punish. Tried to go in and get the punish again. And this is why he gets KB'd again. That was a mistake from Ninja Killer. Gets caught whiffing as well. Yeah, Avery's back to making mistakes now, chat. He's back to making mistakes. There, there was quite a few mistakes in that last round. So the mistake was, number one, once again, missing the punish. Trying to go back in and get the punish. He should have just reset the neutral. If you missed the punish, I guess the lesson we should all learn from this is if you miss your punish, just reset neutral. Just let it go. Because if you go back in and try to get it, you know, you're, you're probably going to get punished. You know? You woke the dragon. Final round. Fight. You got shimmied again. Take the grab. Take the grab. If you're going to wait, if you're going to respect like that, then be prepared to take the grab. You know what I mean? I, 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 and, and I used to think taking the grab was a meme. Like, people just say, oh, yeah, just take my throw, like Punk likes to say. Oh, yeah, just take the throw, just take the throw. But it's not a meme. It's real. It's, it's, it's real. People expect you to try to tech in those situations. That's why they delay like that. They want you to tech so that they can open you up with the strike so that's the that's a basic strike throw mix up right there where they just wait and then they press you know 
So yeah, that's uh that's tough. And now he's corner carried. He just lost 23%. Where if he had show it again, he, he should he should have took the throw in that situation. Alright, check it out. You see? You see? You saw it? I'll show it again. Remember when I said Ninja Killer will sit there and hold block? Ninja Killer will sit there and hold block for as long as it takes, right? He'll sit there and hold block and he will let you grab him. Or he will let he will block your strike. So he could take his turn back. But he is not gonna he is not in this situation, he's not gonna let go of block. You, you feel what I'm saying? He might spam block to catch you going for the throw, maybe. But for the most part, he's he's going to wait for you to hit him or throw him and either try to tech or he's going to uh, take his turn back after the strike. Averk, on the other hand, this is the second time in a row that after a delay and some characters, you always take the grab. Yeah, Liu Kang is a character where you always want to take the grab. Uh, unless you're low health. You don't want to take grabs for if you're low health. But at this health, definitely I would take the grab, you know? So you see right here that Averk is like, oh, okay, he's not going to press. Now I'm going to press. But Ninja Kill is already pressed because Ninja Kill is like, okay, I respected you, but now I'm going to take my turn. You think that I'm going to grab you, but you're about to get hit if you try to tech. He tries to tech. He gets press, gets corner carry. And now he loses more damage than he would have lost if he just took the throw. All right, nice down one. All right, Averick taking his turn, tries to go for the back dash. He keeps doing down one, walk back. And I don't, maybe I don't understand what it is that he's trying to do, but I don't think Ninja Killer is going to press after getting hit. Ninja Killer is not going to mash on hit. That might be something he learned in Combat League. You know, like a lot of people in Combat League will mash on hit. But I don't think Ninja Killer is going to mash on hit, honestly. Very nice neutral ducks. That does whiff on Johnny. All right, easy 30%. All right, Ninja Killer blocking. Takes his turn because Force Balls in the face is minus. Averick had no bar, I don't think. Oh, he did have bar. Averick did have bar. All right, what's the frame data on, on the regular force ball and the amplified force ball block? Can somebody check for me real quick? Oh, new people in the chat. If you guys like PlayStation 4 tournaments, if any of you guys play on PlayStation, just know that I'm offering a 1,000 euro PlayStation qualifier series uh, starting late September. You guys can sign up right here on Smash GG or you can join our Discord as well where we kind of like do a lot of this kind of like tech talk stuff as well uh can somebody check the frame data on that i don't feel like opening my game right now <laughs> i'm not in the mood i guess i'll open my game why not in a tournament uh east coast in a is allowed east coast in a eu middle east russia if you're east coast you could play West Coast, unfortunately, is not allowed because, you know, West Coast has a hard time playing with uh, Middle East and Russia. West Coast NA can play against EU, but they can't play against uh, Middle East or Russia. So there you go. <sighs> go to Combat Academy as frame data. No, nah, we'll, just, we'll just open up the game real quick. We'll just open up the game real quick. Johnny Cage. Liu Kang. Karan's ship. No, wait. Is it Karan's ship or is it Sea of Blood that they were on? Combat Academy is a godsend, though. I, I need to check out Combat Academy. But I, I'd rather just check it, because, you know, we're on stream. I need to put on a show for you guys. Uh, let's see. There we go. All right. 
so what did he do? Let me look at the footage again. Let me see, what did he do? Oh, I think he did one, one, two, one. Volker, what's going on with you, man? Yeah, he did one, two, one. It's a straight force ball. Oh, that's minus 10. Holy shit. And that's minus two. Yeah, he had bar that keep it safe. Yeah, so Avery just threw right there, actually. Avery, Avery actually just threw. That's minus 10. Just going, just got done playing MK for now. Who'd you play today, Volker? Yeah, so Avery just threw, actually. That was just a throw. He, he, he just threw. <laughs> there's, no, there's no way about it. He just threw the game. He had the bar. He had the bar. Yeah, Avery, Avery just threw right there. He just threw the game. He's probably not used to people punishing him for that, though. Finish him. No. Yeah, he had the bar to keep that safe. Play KL, pick, play Bone Picker. Round one. Fight. It's 50-50 bait for the bar? No, it's not. It's not 50-50 bait. Ninja Killer has shown that he's been trying to. Ninja Killer has shown that he will try to interrupt that every time. I don't know if you guys were paying attention before, but Ninja Killer was going to try to interrupt that every single time. You know, like every time he did force ball, he always pressed after the after the first force ball. He will he will gladly take the second force ball because if he doesn't amp it, then he gets a free punish. Yeah, Averick is nutty, but there's a lot of mistakes being made. A lot of mistakes. But Averick is like an amateur uh, compared to these guys. Like, these guys are like actual pros. So you can see the difference in skill level even from, like, so, like, for example, Averick might be the best as far as, like, from the community, but Ninja Killer is like an actual professional player. And there is a big difference in skill that I'm noticing between an actual professional player More so, Averick did the same thing, non-amp force ball. Well, it doesn't matter because, uh, A, it's low risk for ninja. It's low risk, high reward to press after uh, fireball, whether the press after straight fireball, whether he amps it or not. That's a low risk, high reward thing. That was the second or third time he did that. Well, ninja pressed every single time he did that, though. Where did Verk play Sonic? It's on Ninja Killer's channel. Um, there's a link to it in my Discord. If you guys want to join my Discord, there's a link to it in the general channel. There's a link to this video that I'm watching and a link to the other video where he's playing against Sonic. And it's kind of the same thing, except he ends up beating Sonic. But I do believe after really slowing down the gameplay that Sonic was kind of rusty. I heard that Sonic went on like a really long vacation and Sonic seemed like he was very rusty. You know? So with that being said, um, with that being said, it seems as though um, Avery, no, I, I call that a throw. And I'm going to call that a throw for two reasons. Number one, Avery had bar to make it safe. Number two, Ninja Killer has been pressing after every force ball every time. Okay? Number three, uh, he had the bar. He had the bar, and he was in a low life situation. There was no reason for him to not use that bar right there to keep himself safe in that situation. He was minus two. He could have even take. He could have even taken his turn back. You know, if you're in a pressure situation, you got somebody in the corner. I would go for as many plus frames or the least amount of negative frames I could get. You know what I mean? Volker wants me to do ten push-ups. Yeah, he did have the meter. He had the meter. There's no reason to not do it. You know, it doesn't matter if he thinks it's a mix-up. Ninja Killer will press. Ninja Killer, I'm noticing, isn't even really reacting as much as he's uh, 
Ninja Kill is not really reacting as much as he is doing risk reward. He's like, yeah, I could get hit by this thing, but if I take this risk, I could get this huge reward, and it's worth taking the risk. That's how Ninja Kill is thinking. You know, Ninja Kill is like, yeah, I'll press after that force ball. Because if he does one force ball, I can punish it. If he does two force balls, doesn't really fucking matter. It's just one force ball. It's like what? 50, 60 damage? It's not even that much. It's like whatever. I'll take I'll take that. That's fine. You know, when Ninja Killer is in a situation where he's getting shimmied, um, he's gonna say, Yeah, I'll take the throw. That's fourteen percent compared to what, thirty, thirty five, forty percent? Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Ninja Kill is thinking risk reward. Averick is thinking, how can I open up Ninja Killer? You know? AJJ, how are you doing, man? AJJ, what happened to your sub, bro? Oh, he didn't punish it that time. He wasn't close enough anyway to punish it, so that's fine. All right, Averick needs to not get hit with all these fireballs. Nice flawless block. Makes that minus. Nice call out right there by Averick, actually. Another big call out. Perfect meaty. Ninja Killer got shimmy there. Ooh, that wasn't even a punish. He just caught Ninja Killer trying to press. This is scramble now. This is getting kind of ugly. Oh, he tried to down two right there. Oh. You think Averick's trying to save meter to use it in the combo? There's no reason to save in that situation. You got to cash out. No flaws. I think that was an attempted flaw block, though. Ooh, Ninja Killer got caught whiffing, but no punish. Oh, how did he grab him out of one, two? What the fuck? Hitbox. NRS, please. Oh, Ninja Killer got shimmied right there. He got shimmied again. See? This is why you take the throw, chat. NASCAR, what's going on? That's why you take the throw. Ninja Killer's getting shimmied now. Ninja Killer stopped trying to take the throw. So now Ninja Killer's making the mistakes. Ninja Kill is making the mistakes because he's not trying to get throw looped in the corner. So Ninja Kill needs to go back to being willing to take the throw. You know, well, you didn't notice. You think you got your new card and went away. Give you one moment, though. Thanks for telling me you didn't know you wasn't sub. Oh, no problem, AJJ. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I can uh, inform you. Hold on, I have a message. Hi, uh, you see Monarch qualify for the tourney? Are you wrong? Uh, yeah, Monarch did qualify, yes, Niski. But I'll answer that later. Oh, that's a nice trait. That was wake up buttons, actually. Ninja Killer tried. So let's see how this happened. I didn't even see what happened here. He got the trade, which is actually good for Ninja Killer in this situation. Narta, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Um, so he got the trade right here, which is good for Ninja Killer. Well, he tried to take back his turn. He tried to steal his turn. Yeah, he tried to steal his turn. Yep, Aver tried to steal his turn here. Basically, stealing your turn against a guy like Ninja Killer is akin to mashing. He tried to steal his turn. Ninja Killer punished him for it. Ninja Killer said, nope, it is my turn, motherfucker. Respect my turn. Nice flawless block. Actually gets the punish. Let's go. Breakaway safe combo. Uh, we'll take it. Good flawless blocks. All right. Averick playing a little smarter. He was ready to take the throw. Nice. Gets the counter hit. Catches Ninja Killer trying to steal his turn. Ninja Killer was trying to stagger him out right there. Averick. Called out that stagger, gets a combo. So that's actually big PP play right there. Big PP play. Pros don't break, chat. Pros don't break. Remember what I told you? Pros don't break. He did the full combo this time because he noticed Ninja Killer never breaks away, by the way. And that's something I noticed. There is no point in breaking away anymore. Breakaways are now one of the worst mechanics in this game. It used to be really good to break away, but now it's, it's really stupid to break away. Because not only do you give your opponent real Oki when you break away, 
you also remove many options from yourself and you also remove uh respect like your opponent no longer needs to respect you at all when you have no no defensive bar so ninja killer would rather hold that combo he's like i'm not gonna die so there's no reason for me to break right now if i'm like the only time you'll see like ninja killer break is probably if it's gonna lead to a kill combo hey spoon what's going on man and you remove scaling too and yeah that too so it's kind of like it's kind of like this there's almost no reason to break at this point you might as well just hold the combo you know you can break there are some strategic breaks here and there but if your opponent is good enough they will they'll punish you for breaking you know like breaking usually leads to bad things you know you might get out of that combo but now what are you going to do about the next combo you know what i mean that kind of thing good flaws box averick has learned his lesson and there it is averick playing smart averick playing smart chat he pulled the ninja killer he did exactly what ninja killer did He did exactly what Ninja Killer did, which is he let him kill himself. The best Kano in the world has arrived. Ace, what's going on with you, man? New people in the chat, hit that young follow button. Let's make it happen. Also, we're really, really close. We're really, really close to 500 members in the Discord, by the way. Let me see. Let me see how many people we got. Yeah, like six more members in the Discord server, guys. Six more members in the Discord server. And we're at 500. Oh, so Ninja Killer switched to Johnny now. All right, opens him up. Perfect meaty, let's go. Catches Ninja Killer, probably trying to wake up with buttons. But he did it fast. Now, I'm going to tell you guys a secret about meaties. Now will be perfect meaty game. Well, now here's the thing. I'm going to tell you guys a secret about meaties. If you hit somebody perfect enough, if you hit someone with a perfect enough meaty, you won't even see a counter hit. You know that, right? You won't even see counter hit. You will hit them before the startup of their move. I demonstrated it uh, on my channel so you guys can follow the YouTube channel. You guys can follow the YouTube channel if you want. I'm going to be posting today the footage from the tournaments. And then uh, I'll be posting the wake-up game thing where I demonstrated that if you can hit someone early enough, he overrated. Um, hey, JJ, thanks for the tier two, my guy. Tier two? What? Thank you. you. Were you tier two before? I don't think you were tier two. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Shanglish. <laughs> anyway um you can hit someone and if they try to do wake up buttons but if you if you do um if you do a perfect enough meaty it's very possible that you can um it's very possible that you can hit them and hit them early enough that you hit them before the startup of their wake up buttons you know you can hit them before the startup of their wake-up buttons, and then you get a situation like that where basically they wake up, but they're not blocking, and then you, you're hitting them, and you get a combo. It's, it's kind of like that. All right. Oh, caught him with the short hop, but he doesn't give nothing from it. Oh. Oh, I like that. That was... That was crazy. Hold on. Let, let's see what happened right there. That was interesting. All you got to do is slow him down. Then he lost the sauce. All right. So that's a mix up. Ninja Killer st steals his turn. Wow. So he tried to go. So Avery tried to go for an anti air, but bruh, hold on a second. NRS. NRS. NRS, please. Please, NRS. That was the end. Did you see? His hand was in him, bro. His hand was on him. And he still got hit. Avery actually had a well-timed anti-air. But he hit him during the startup frames. So it probably didn't become active. What? AJJ just gifted three subs? Yo. 
AJJ. AJJ, are you in the Discord? I need to give you the PC League sponsor role, by the way. I need to give you the PC League sponsor role, by the way. Thank you for the subs, AJJ. I really appreciate it. Big staggers from Ninja Killer right there. Nice whiff punish. That was kind of a bait. That was kind of a debate right there. What? This man just does up two? All right, Avery takes around. Let's go. Ace, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Round two, fight. You are your Carmageddon? Okay. Hold on. Let me hook you up right now then. Where did you post your thing? Tech locker. Oh, my God. You guys be having long ass conversations and uh hold on, where did you post your uh wasn't it shameless plugs? Where did you post your thing? Hold on, I'm gonna look for you in the member section. Give me one sec, chat. Alright, there you go. Uh let's see. I'm gonna give you the PC League sponsor role. Good job. There you go. Yeah, he's gifted a lot of subs to this channel. There you go. No, you're enjoying it. You didn't have to stop because of me. No, no, it's all good, bro. Big staggers. He got opened up. He got opened up because he tried to take his turn late right here. Let me see. Let's slow this down. Ninja Kill is staggering the fuck out of him right now. That's plus, though. Yeah, that's plus. So I wonder why Averick would, op would would let himself get opened up right there. And the reason why I'm thinking is maybe he thought that it was going to be stand one grab. Because I noticed Johnny's stand one is like plus, right? So he was probably thinking, oh, okay, he's going to do stand one stagger into grab, right? But once again, like I keep saying, in these situations when you have high health, just take the grab, block the block the strike, you know? All right, let's see what the meaty's going to be. Does the combo. No punish. That's a <laughs> Hanzo Asash was good. Oh, he catches him off the short hop. No mix-up, actually. He literally conditioned him. Yeah, that's minus two. He's always going to... Johnny will always be able to take his turn after that. Learning a lot from you. Slowing down, breaking these matches down. Well, I mean, these guys play so fast that I'm also learning myself. I mean, I haven't even seen this footage before. I'm just watching it because, I, you know, analyzing footage is, is, how you, is another way of getting better, you know? So, you know, definitely. It's, it's definitely to play. Final. But yeah, these guys play really fast. And if you don't slow it down, then you don't really see what happened there. Now, you see what happened here, right? This is the exact same situation that Averk was in. This is literally the exact same situation that Averk was just in. But what's the difference between um, Rhythm Pro Sub Zero matches? We could watch some K7 show off. If we if somebody has a good K7 show off vod, we can watch it um, next time. Uh, so here's the thing, right? Here's the thing: Ninja Killo is in the exact same situation that Averk was just in, right? All right, Averk takes his turn, staggers. Now, there's a mix-up after the stagger, right? It's either throw, strike. Is he going to throw? Is he going to strike? Ninja Killer does not let go of block like Averick does. Instead, he's ready to take the throw. He takes the whole mix-up, and he doesn't get thrown. He doesn't get comboed. You see what I mean? And even if he does get thrown, it doesn't matter because either he's going to throw him in the corner or he's going to throw him. And then if he throws him in the corner, he's going to tech. If he throws him out the corner, then it doesn't matter because he's out the corner. One, make sure not to whiff meaties. Two, amp force ball for Johnny or is minus 10. Three, don't play Ninja Killer yet. <laughs> I think that's the most important rule. I don't know if you noticed, but he does the same moveset, same combo. 
set up for years in the corner. That is true. He does do that. Uh, but I'm going to say this. Here's the thing. Here's the here's the mind game here. He did, he did the stand one stagger, right? After the stand one stagger, he either gets a throw or a strike mix up because he's plus, right? Now, here's the thing. If he does a forward throw to keep him in the corner, that's a free tech, right? That's a free throw tech. For Ninja Killer, I mean, because he's going to react to that. He's going to react to a throw. Because he's, you know, he's a professional player. He's going to react to that shit. He's going to say, okay, I don't care if you throw me because you can only throw me out of the corner. That's because I'm not going to tech a back throw. I'm only going to tech a forward throw because I'm in the corner and you need to keep me in the corner. If you throw me out of the corner, that's fine by me. I'll take 14. I'll take 14% to get out the corner. Fuck it. You know, that's Ninja Killer's thinking, right? Averick was in this situation. Averick pressed and he got opened up for 30%. You see what I mean? He got opened up for double the damage because he tried to tech in the corner. Right? You hold the mix up. You wait for them to grab you. If they grab you in this game, you have the opportunity to tech. So then you just tech the throw. And if he throws them out of the corner, oh well. So Ninja Killer blocks this whole mix up, right? You see? And you saw that, right? Averick tried to throw him. Ninja Killer reacts to the throw. And then after he reacts to the throw, Ninja Killer's like, cool, now it's my turn king of friend zone for life thanks for the follow johnny's job is to keep you in the corner and chip you to death or catch you jumping exactly he hit high too much so kano rack off be tearing his ass up the randomness moment so like this is a perfect example well johnny's all highs really that's the thing i'm gonna slow this down a little bit check this out so he's minus two takes his turn you notice that also you notice that also um He's not really blocking low like that. You know, Ninja Kill is not really blocking low because at this range, there's no way in hell you're doing back 3-4. You know, it's auto shimmy mind games. It is auto shimmy mind games, but you notice that when he tried to do stand one, look at this. Look, he tried to do stand one grab. See, now this time he tried to do stand one grab, right? But that's a forward grab. And Ninja Kill is probably teching forward grabs, right? Ninja Kill is like, I'm not going to let you throw me further into the corner. You have to throw me out of the corner if you want to throw me. You know? If you want to throw me out of the corner, you could throw me out of the corner, but you're not going to throw me, and I'm still going to be in the corner. I'm always Basically, Ninja Kill is like, I'm going to tech forward throws. And if you try to forward throw me, what happens when you have throw KBs, though? Well, then that's the mix-up. That's the 50-50, because... Liu Kang, for example, will throw you out of the corner so that you can tech incorrectly. And, um, but it also works out for you because if you don't tech and he throws you out of the corner, then you're out of the corner. And you didn't tech, so you don't give him the fatal blow. But in Johnny, doesn't have throw KB, so that's not a thing. So basically, there is no risk for Ninja Killer to tech a forward throw and then get thrown out of the corner. You understand? Because then he's out of the corner. You understand? But in this situation, if he texts the throw correctly, which is a forward throw, then it's his turn. If he gets thrown out of the corner, that also works out for him. But Lou gets Oki. Everyone gets Oki off a of throw. Every character in the game gets Oki off a of throw. But they don't get that much Oki off a of throw. You feel what I'm saying? Throws are like... I know Jax. I know I mean Jax. Jax's throw is like plus 10 or plus 15. It's really not that much plus off the ground. You can literally get back up. If he if he whiffs the meaty, he could get back up and do wake up buttons. Yeah, back throw. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's not it's not that plus, you know? It's not as plus as getting hit with a combo and getting knocked down, if that makes any sense. So now you see it's Ninja Killer's turn now, right? And now Ninja Killer's out of the corner. Okay, double D4, respect my turn. That's minus. You're about to get hit. Let me speed this up for you guys. Yep. And he did the down to knowing that Aver, Aver might break away. Aver, and once again, what did I tell you? Pros don't break. I'm noticing that about pros. They don't break. There's no reason to break. Because now look at what's about to happen. Look at what's about to happen. He's about to get this Oki jump. Now, Aver has several options here. He can flawless block to jump in. Or it could be an empty jump, but he could floss block to jump in. He could wake up anti-air. That is a thing. He could wake up stand one. Or he could just wake up block. 
Let's see what he does. Oh, he woke up flawless block. There you go. And now he's able to take his turn. Ninja Killer reads the grab because once again, Johnny's all highs. I always neutral duck against Johnny all the time. Johnny's literally all highs. So yeah, if anything, after this stagger right here, let's see. Yeah, after that stagger, I would say it was very obvious the grab was televised at that point. The grab was pretty televised at that point. Like I, I would have to say that that's definitely 100% a televised grab right there by Avert. Um, because all he could do was another high. I mean, forward three is too slow to try to take your turn back with. Uh, back three, four, you can't do anything. If anything, the smart play would have been for him to back dash and block. Or to wait. Or to make a read. Or to do down one. It might have been smarter for him to take his turn back with down one. Possibly. But that's only something you can know in hindsight. Grab is a good option. Oh, he just he just counters the wake up buttons. So that's the Oki situation right here. Let's slow that down. That's an Oki situation. Now, I don't know how plus he is on knockdown. I haven't really studied Johnny's frame data. But I can tell you that there are characters in the game that are so plus on knockdown. That are so plus on knockdown. Look at this. They're so plus on this knockdown, right? Look how plus he is. You see, he's still rolling on the ground while Ninja Kill is already in the process of dashing up. So that's probably like a plus 30 situation right there. You see, he's by the time he's even starting to get up, Ninja Kill is already in a uh, one-two-one range. So Ninja Kill is just gonna walk up and hit him with the one-two-one. Because he tried. That was a perfect meaty, by the way. That was perfect meaty. Look at this. You see? He hit him literally at the very startup of his animation. At the very startup. That's like... I mean, it gets more perfect. You can do a more perfect meaty than that. But that's pretty much perfect. Like, that's pretty much like before he's able to press any kind of button on Wake Up. At the 6.07 mark... Oh, we probably explained that a while ago, Caviar, but I, I think I know what you're talking about. Hold on. Where are we at? 2606. You want to see 607? Are you talking about that neutral play? You think Verk fucked up Meaty again? Are you talking about what happens after this combo? Yeah, Verk probably fucked. Yeah, he fucked up the Meaty. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, we talked. We analyzed this one to death. Yeah, we analyzed that game to death. We analyzed that game to death. I'm gonna put the VOD in the Discord so you can watch it, Caviar. But yeah, we 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 analyzed this to death. Oh, it's a different link. Okay, all right, hold on a second. Oh, he's talking about a different game. All right, give me one sec. Give me one sec. You said 607? Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, alright. Ninja Kill is a fucking robot, yo. What the fuck? Ninja Killer did stand one. Bruh. He did stand one parry. That was a read. That was just a hard fucking read. That was just a hard fucking read. That was a. That, there's nothing else to that. There's nothing else to say about that. That's a hard read, man. That's a hard read. Yep, he flawless block. Ninja Killer was expecting a flawless block up too. That was a read. He was like, I'm going to do stand one parry. This guy's going to fucking flawless block me. He's going to try to take his turn back. And I'm going to blow his ass up. Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, that that was just a read. That was just a read. Jesus Christ. And he punished him for doing up to. He said, never up to me ever again in your life. That's literally what Ninja Killer said right there. He said, never ever up to me ever again in your life, bro. He didn't predict. It was a read. It's not a prediction. It's a read. It's not a predict. Because you got to dial in. In, in. in Mortal Kombat, there is no predicting anything. Everything has to be dialed in in Mortal Kombat, right? So if you take the concept of everything in Mortal Kombat being dialed in, that means that everything in Mortal Kombat is a real. Don't ever come up to me again with that bullshit. Ninja Killer literally told this man, he said, never up to me, never flawless block me again a day in your life, bro. Don't even think about it. He said, don't even think about it. I dare you to fucking flawless block me again. I would hit your ass with so much fucking damage. I mean, that was 50. That was literally damn near 60%. Ninja's read was so good, it punished Avery's read, which is also godlike. Avery's read was godlike. And then he punished a godlike read with an even more god, with the elder godlike read, chat. That was an elder godlike read. So instead of Avery might be godlike, but but Ninja Killer, that was elder godlike, chat. That was, that was fucking ridiculous. Like, I've never seen no shit like that in my life. So right here, going back to the actual set that we were watching... Make a good read and get punished for it. Well, Ninja Killer made a better read. That's actually good game design, believe it or not. Bad game design would be Ninja Killer getting locked into this. It, basically, what I'm noticing is that when you slow this game down, there's literally a counterplay for literally everything. This game has so much death that I don't think a lot of the community realize how deep this game goes. Like, this game has so much counterplay to it. Like, everything has a counterplay by every character, you know? All right, so look at the plus frames on Knockdown. So this is something that I did post about on the YouTube channel. Um, we, we have some videos about the wake-up game on the YouTube channel. That's probably going to come out either today or tomorrow. So make sure you guys sub to the YouTube channel as well if you haven't. You can't up to lose one, two. Yeah, you can't up to lose one, two. You can't. But he tried. <laughs> Anyway, point being, and for him to get the KB, he had to hold the button down. So that was a hard uh, Ninja Killer read the script, Avid read the dictionary. <laughs> yeah, for sure, this game is very well designed with layers of death. I'm starting to realize this game might actually be better designed than we, than we think it is. But I do believe that jump-ins are still kind of too strong, though. All right, so remember, we talked, uh, we had a long video um that we talked about knockdown plus frames and this is a per ninja killer knows about knockdown plus frames it seems like so for example these knockdown plus frames he was able to basically knock him full basically most of the screen away dash up and we're going to slow this down right here because you can see him starting to stand up right i'm going to 0.25 that shit look at this you see he hit him at the very startup frame look at this so that this is the remember when Tom Brady talked about the 20 invincible frames. These are the invincible get up frames right here. When you see him getting up off the floor, these are the invincible get up frames. And then when you see him start to move his hand, when you see him start to move his hand or whatever, like like this, like where you see him start to move his hand, that's um that's the what you call it? That's the startup of his one two. So he basically hit him before the startup. Or at the very top of the startup of his move. So that that's a perfect meaty. So once again, Ninja Killer is not whiffing on meaties. You guys might think that you play Scorpion and whiffing forward three over your opponent's head is a good thing. But we've already shown countless times that it's not a good thing. You know, like Ninja Killer is not whiffing ever. You know, and when he does get whiffed, he gets hit. Like he's not whiffing his meaties. He's not whiffing strings and neutral. Ninja Killer ain't whiffing shit. You know? That's kind of like a big difference I'm seeing between like professionals and, and people who are good at combat league is that people who are good at combat league, there's still a lot of mistakes in their play, you know, but, uh, but they're, but they're good enough to start playing against these kind of players, you know, like Averick is good enough to, he went into settings and turned off with him. <laughs> exactly. Yo, he turned off RTX whiffing chat. 
Ninja Killer turned off RTA Swift with mode. Hi, I'm Brad Callen, and in this Stop video, showing me show advertisements, man. Yo, I'm about to pay for YouTube Premium chat. You think it wasn't a perfect media? It was a fail from Vert? No, it wasn't. He pressed. He did wake up buttons. I'm telling you. MK Tyler Durden, lab it. I'm telling you. I lab that shit extensively. Averk did wake up buttons. Guaranteed. If I was to ask him and show him that clip, I would ask him, I said, did you do wake up one, two? He's going to say, yeah, I tried to do wake up one, two. I can almost guarantee it. He tried to do wake up buttons. That ninja killer just meeted the fuck. Like, you guys need to understand, if you meet somebody well enough, the one, two wouldn't even come out. You wouldn't even get a counter hit. He just would look like he didn't block. And then he's going to be like, oh, what happened to my wake up one, two? Well, you got smacked. That's what happened. You can literally smack someone after the 20 frames if you're not blocking after those 20 invincible frames and somebody hits you or their move is active, you're getting smacked. I do that with Jax all the time. I do that with Jax's forward two. When people get up and they try to press, I do forward two gotcha grab. Free arm heat almost every time. And then you bait them into doing up three and then you block it and then you take your turn again. And now you made them waste meter and now they got to hold your mix up. You know? If they try to do roll as jacks, you get free command grab or regular grab off of that. You know, if you read that they're going to go for a roll, that's the thing too. I mean, if you study that wake up game shit, like a lot of a lot of people's bullshit just ends. Like a lot of a lot of this game's bullshit just goes away. You know, like no one's going to be able to do wake up anything against you if you if you know. You know. Johnny Cage. So Aver is going to go back to Scorpion now. Uh, Scorpion Johnny Cage matchup. Does anybody know the matchup ratio for that? Like, what what is that considered? Maybe we'll do a tier list tomorrow, chat. What do you guys think? Round one. Fight. I like that short hop, actually. Oh, Avery tried to press when it wasn't his turn. Avery tried to press when it wasn't his turn again. Yep, he whiffed. What did I say? Pros don't whiff. Pros don't break. Johnny B Scorp easily. Okay. Um, pros don't riff. Pros don't break. Averick whiffed, and then he tried to he tried to press after he whiffed. So if you whiff, or they block, your shit, just block. That's the lesson. Just block. Because a good player will react to you whiffing or to them blocking something. They will react. A good player will always react. Yeah, you see, Aver stole his turn right there. He's getting greedy. But I know why he did that. Because the forward three, a lot of people are going to respect the forward three. Because it has the second hit as an overhead. So he gets the... That's kind of like a fake overhead low mix. Where you do forward three and then down... Uh, you do forward four, I meant to say. Sorry. Forward four and then down three. That's kind of like fake, but it's effective, and that's why he was able to get away with that. All right, Aver timed the media correctly. But once again, he presses when it's not his turn. Look. He does it again. Can I compete at a high level? I just commentate, bro. Dynamic Prince. I just commentate. I play sets with a lot of really good players, but I don't consider myself to be a great player. I just watch a shit ton of match footage, and I analyze players, and I just commentate. And I have to be knowledgeable about the game so that I can commentate, you know? But uh, playing-wise, I just play jacks. You know, I just play jacks, and I just fucking do shit. But I would say the highest rank that I got uh, was a couple seasons ago. I was 10 seasons off God rank, but... To be honest, I'm just not into grinding Combat League, personally. It's not my thing. I'm not really interested in it. I would grind Combat League for if, if one thing if they change one thing. No, they need to change two things for me to want to grind Combat League. The first thing is they need to stop resetting ranks. I don't like that. If I make it to fucking Demigod, God, Elder God, I want to play other people of my skill rank. I don't want to have to go down and play fucking jump mashers and I have to fucking respect shitty bullshit options. Like, it's easy to beat, but I, it's just not fun. 
I have more fun playing high level sets. So basically, since I want to play high level sets, I just do King of the Hills or just do private sets. I don't I don't even bother with combat league. I feel like combat league also teaches you bad habits because what you're doing is punishing people for doing stupid shit. And it's not really making you better. You know what I mean? Like sets like this, I enjoy. Like watching people play combat league, I don't like I watch uh Foxy play combat league because he's memeing and the shit is funny. But I don't watch people play combat league. Like that shit's fucking boring. Like just, it's really just watching a good player uh sit around and wait for the person to do something dumb. And it's like I'm like yeah that's not fun man I don't know how you guys can grind combat league honestly I, I don't understand but anyway that's my answer dynamic prince so what happened here yeah he pressed he got a counter hit yeah Aver keeps trying to uh, Aver keeps thinking that ninja kill is not going to react. He keeps making the mistake of thinking that Ninja Killer will not react. Aver now, here's the difference. Ninja Killer is respecting Averick quite a bit. You don't get his game plan. Uh, I came up with something interesting today. We actually did some sets on PlayStation today, and it was very interesting with Jax. Uh, I was able to wave dash. Now, a lot of people are going to say this isn't real, but so far, no one has reacted to it. And I've, I've done this against some really good players. Like some really good PC players and some uh, really good like PC League players. And no one's reacted to it so far. So here's what I do. I knock you down. I get plus 20 on knockdown, right? First, I condition you to not press by doing a couple of perfect meaties, right? So like I'll do forward two, grab, knock you down, forward two, down four, knock you down. I'll, I'll mix you up a few times like that. And then what I'll start doing is uh i'll start wave dash i'll knock you down and then as you're getting up i'll continue i'll wave dash as you're down and then i will continue to wave dash in your face after you've gotten up because from the wave dash i can get um i can get down one i can get back forward two i can get forward two i can get command grab i learned that from labbing tech in these last couple days it was pretty interesting and I did that against some good players and people have, have no idea what to do because then you start mixing up the options like you could do a short wave dash like you could just do one wave dash command grab and now they're getting fucking command grab for 35% or you could do a uh, long wave dash forward two because now they're expecting the command grab right or you could just do no wave dash and just grab them on wake up like it's actually pretty crazy man crazy mix or you could just do back two or I don't know it's crazy but Jax's game plan you have to have really good movement to play Jax because Jax, uh, would you say playing Jax, the mini game is to find out ways to get free arm heat? No, the mini game for Jax is to condition your opponent to to not block high. That's the game. That's the game plan for Jax, actually, because all of his KBs come off highs or overheads. Don't tell anyone I told you. Don't tell video games, Joe, I told you. <laughs> All of his KBs come off highs or overheads or grabs. So the secret to Jax is conditioning your opponent to get scared of your knockdown pressure. And then once they get scared of your knockdown pressure, then you just start fucking grabbing them. And then you start mixing up grabs. So for example, what I'll do is I'll keep knocking people down over and over again. Jax doesn't need big combo damage. You just keep conditioning people by knocking them down over and over and over again. So you knock them down, knock them down, knock them down, grab, 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 knock them down, grab, knock them down, quad grab, 45%. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's stupid. It's stupid. You just, you just, you just start making them guess. You know, you just make them guess. And none of Jax's shit is real, but the mind game is real. Jax's mind game is real. And off of the mind game, Jax gets a stupid amount of damage off of it. But the hardest thing about Jax, like I said, is his movement. You have to have good movement to play with Jax. You have to also be patient. Because if you get zoned out, then um, you got to patiently work your way back in. That's the only weakness that I say Jax has, is that once he gets out, it's hard for him to get in. You feel what I'm saying? But once he's in, Jax becomes S-tier, you know? Once I'm in, 
you're in jail. I call it jail. I call it Jack's jail. Once you're in jail, like you, you got to make the read of a lifetime because you're about to get fucking right. Like, let me show you guys a clip. Actually, there's a couple of clips here. I'm gonna show you guys a, a good clip. I was playing this. Uh, I was playing Synesthesia's. Actually, this is actually a good, a good. Like Synesthesia's actually won most of the set by playing really good neutral and keep away with me. But this is one of the times that I was able to get him in jail. This is one of the times I was able to get him in jail right here. Where is it? Cool round. Oh, wait. Where is that clip? Nine months ago, five days ago. Where are my clips? Clips I've created? Damn, I can't find my clips, chat. Fuck. Is this it? What happened to the clips that I created? Fucking shit. All right, I have it right here. Hold on a second. I have it on my computer. Hold on a second. Is this it? That might be the clip from last night. So about to take oh, that's, that's when Koizy made the one HP comeback. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Is this it? A lot of no. respect coming from Ava right now. What happened to the clip that I fucking posted on Twitter? Is this it? Oh, this is it. Okay. So this is the one time that I got synesthesias in jail, right? Or one of the few times. I had him in jail a few times, but he was able to get out. But this is a perfect example of what I mean. I hit him with the fatal. I did something, hit him with the fatal. All right, so that's forward to gotcha grab plus frames. Into 40% quad grab. Now, here's the reason why I did that, right? This is plus, this setup right here is plus four. Quad grab comes out in 10 frames normally, which makes this a six frame thing, which means he has one frame to react. He has one frame to guess, high, low, strike, throw, command grab. He needs to guess between like a lot of options because I have also have fully heated arms, right? I can literally do three different KBs right now, you know? So he literally has to guess which KB he's about to get hit with, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So then, as you can see, I'm already grabbing him while he's in, in hit stun, right? Fully heated arms, plus quad grab, easy 40%. So I fucked up right there. I was actually trying to do, uh, I saw that I anti-air with the down one, but I fucked up. I thought I did down one, two, gotcha grab. I was trying to do it again, but um, but it, but it, I fucked it up. So that gave him some pressure. But he expected me to continue staggering forward 3-3. Three, three. So basically, he forgot that I could cancel gotcha grab. And, and a lot of people forget about that, actually. A lot of, like, if you condition people to respect these staggers right here, if you condition people to respect these staggers, if you condition people to respect that, like, because I've been doing a lot of just forward three, forward three, three, forward three, forward three, forward three, three, three whatever, you know. Restand, command grab again. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm trying to get him to neutral duck so I can get a uh, forward to grab KB, right? You see? Or get him to jump. I was either trying to get him to jump oh or to neutral duck. I was either trying to get him to jump or to neutral duck. And basically in that situation, because I'm so plus, I get a free meaty, which opens him up and, and, and I get the other KB off. So there you go. And I have a lot of clips like that, actually. A lot of clips like that. So, I mean, that's kind of like what it is. But that's that's kind of the way, that's kind of like one of the best ways to play Jax. Now, Grin and Barrett, I don't know much about. I only play Hunker Down. So you might want to talk to Swift, FGC. Uh, he's a Grin and Barrett player. He's really good. And he also plays Ringer as well. He's kind of like an expert on, on, on Ringer and Grin and Barrett Jax. But I only know about Hunker Down. I, I I just fuck with Hunker Down. I just like I just like playing Hunker Down. So anyway, let's finish up this video because I have been streaming for six and a half hours. Oh, Averick whiffing again. Can't whiff against Ninja Killer, man. No whiffing. So that's the thing. Don't don't get caught whiffing. You saw that Ninja Killer respected the options right there. 
He just reset neutral. Nice. Oh. Now, that's a rare thing. Ninja Killer got caught whiffing his meaty right there. Now, that's rare. You don't really see it that often. But look at what happens when he whiffs. See? He whiffed it. He did not wait this time. Gotcha grab is safe. Gotcha grab isn't safe. It's not safe at all. It's minus... Uh, it's like minus 11 on whiff. But in that situation... In that particular situation, it comes out of six frames. And yeah, you got to make a big guess. Gotcha grab is minus 15 or minus 17, I think. I don't remember. I know it's between, yeah, gotcha grab and quad grab are not safe. It's just not a lot of people punish it for some reason. But it's not safe at all. I just throw it out there because I know people don't be punishing it, you know, <laughs> honestly. So now you see rare footage of Ninja Killer whiffing right there, right? That's rare footage of Ninja Killer whiffing. Ninja Killer never whiffs. Yeah, but people don't punish it. People don't punish it. They don't. I don't know why. It's massively unsafe. Full combo punishable, by the way, if you block it. Uh, but yeah, so long story short, or make it whiff, uh, Ninja Killer was whiffing right there. He got a little, I call that being buttony. He got buttony. All right, nice stand. What was that? Stand two into grab. That was real because that's plus. Get press after that, and Avery got caught pressing again. But that was a that was a guaranteed. Uh, well, that wasn't guaranteed chip out. Actually, he could have last breathed it. Avery kind of threw right there. You should have respected. it. Avery should have respected it because if he had did one, did Ninja Killer have bar? Let me see. He had the flawless block right there, but Averick had no bar to do nothing with it. What did, what did he do after the flawless block? Yeah, he used all his bar to get this combo. Yeah, that's plus. So that grab is guaranteed. So Ninja Killer was mashing right there. He got the flawless block, but he did down one to take his turn. But he didn't take his turn. And then he got caught pressing after the down one. So he took unnecessary damage right here. Yeah, there was no reason for him to press right there. Oh, Avery actually got chipped. He got chipped. He had no bar. Avery got chipped. That was a guarantee. That was guaranteed. Abandon. What's going on? I'm star. Round two. Fight. That's a good stagger. Oh, I wonder what happened right there. Oh, that was a failed anti air from Maverick. Oh, he just stole that. Oh, he almost missed it. But you got to respect back one four anyway. Back one four three. You got to respect it. Cause that's a no west. That's minus two. Yeah, that's a loot. Mm, Ninja Killer almost got cold with it right there. Oh, wake up buttons didn't reach. He's dead. Yeah, wake up buttons didn't reach right there to get that whip punish. Ninja Killer was kind of playing a little bit more, well, I'm not going to say sloppy, but he was playing a little bit more loose that game. He seems to have the, the straight download on Averk right now. Like, he seems to just know, like, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't even need to be that tight. Like, there was a lot more whiffing in that game from Ninja Killer. Big wake up buttons. I wonder what happened right there. Oh, that's unlucky. Double down one, actually. I think Avery was trying to neutral duck there. Catches the back jump. Okay. Gonna unload the KB, get the damage. Oh, catches. Plus. Plus. Nice throw tech. 
Perfect example. We talked about that before. Ninja Killer won't let himself get opened up. You can only throw him one way, and that's out the corner. That's plus. He tried to go for the setup. Ninja Killer got the trade, though. Oh, he didn't punish the up three. Averick might lose for that. Yep. Yep. Averick lost because he didn't uh he didn't he didn't block the up three. He lost because he didn't block the up three right here. That basically, once again, took Ninja Killer off the defensive and on the offensive. See, that was a good interruption. That was a good counter hit right there. Yeah, he got yeah, yeah. He tried to go for a meaty. I don't know what he tried to do there, but he needed to respect the options. Ninja Killer has full bar. So that's another that's the same situation as before. Averick made one mistake. Literally one mistake, and Ninja Killer won off of that one mistake alone. Yep. That's yep, and then he also made an Averick then compounded his mistake further by trying to interrupt instead of holding the shrink. He had enough health to take a throw. Now he doesn't have enough health to take a throw anymore. You feel what I'm saying? Like, especially when Ninja Killer has Fatal. Well, he doesn't have Fatal anymore, but he's got Bar. Like, why would you... Like, if he does 1-2, even if he just does 1-2, I mean, just wait a second, you know? Like, just wait a second. Like, get ready to take a throw. I mean, you're in the corner. He can only throw you out of the corner. So, same situation applies. Ninja Killer didn't get shimmy when he was in the corner. He was ready to take a throw. He teched the throw correctly, you know? Um, and this is how Ninja Kill is about to beat him because now he's about to get meaty interactable. And actually, that wasn't even meaty. That wasn't even meaty once again. This is a situation, however. In this situation, you don't want to take the throw. You don't want to take the throw. So now this, is, this was a hard guess, and Averick just guessed wrong, or he reacted late because it, it was a counter. So yeah, that that was a that was a checkmate situation right there for Aver. He literally had to guess, and that's a risk reward because it doesn't really matter for Ninja Killer because he's damn near about to die anyway. So either this works and he wins, which is a huge reward for him, or this doesn't work and he loses and it doesn't matter anyway. Did you miss the tournament? Is there going to be a call today? No, we didn't do a tournament today. Uh, we did a King of the Hill on PlayStation, but we didn't do anything on PC. We're just analyzing VODs today. Yeah, so that was a that was a risk reward situation for uh, that was a big risk reward situation right there for Ninja Killer. What's a meaty? A meaty is basically um, hitting someone as soon as they're able to get up. But before they're able to act. So basically, like, as soon as they get up, but before they're able to press, before their buttons are able to come out. I like that. He caught Ninja Killer back walking. Ninja Killer's probably trying to go for back walk, back three. Nice meaty grab. Yeah, that's safe. Averick not taking the throw again. Averick's not taking the throw again. So now I have a question. Is Averick... Is, is Ninja Killer just teching the throws correctly? Or is Averick only trying to throw him one way? If I ever talk to Averick correctly... If I ever, ever talk to Averick again, I'm going to ask him which way he was throwing Ninja Killer. It's very possible that Ninja Killer was just guessing correctly all this time, and he was mixing up the throws. All right, so he doesn't get the whiff punish either. That's a yikes. All right. So now in this situation, Amplified Force Ball is minus two. You, you, you play VGY and expose you have to play solid against these top pros you play vgy got exposed for disrespecting yeah now in this situation he tried to do back two while being barely minus two online like to be honest johnny has one of the best d4s in the game like you're not touching him after this like the smartest thing for aver to do in this situation would have been to jump Ant Force Ball is plus one. We just checked it in the game, Lord Pennywise. It's minus two. I think they nerfed it. It's minus two. 
We literally just checked it in the game like not that long ago. Now you see he got shimmied right here. Averick got shimmied. Take the throw, bro. Averick, you have literally 90% health. Just take the throw. He isn't guessing, pressing OS. No, he doesn't need to do that. You notice, and this is what I said before. I said it literally all this time. However many hours we've been analyzing this video, I've said it so many times. Ninja Killer ain't OS and he ain't doing shit. I mean, yeah, there is a OS throw tech thing. But um, when Ninja Killer is in the corner, he does not get shimmy like this. He doesn't get opened up like that. Aver's getting opened up because he's guessing between strike or throw. Ninja Killer doesn't guess. Ninja Killer is basically just saying, you're not going to open me up with a combo. I'll rather tech a throw. And if I do the throw, and if I get don't know why you do these step-by-step -step analysis often, but it's great. I mean, we, we can do it often if you guys want. This is kind of the first. This is No, this is the second time we've done it. We did it before for um, Nasser, uh, Mia, and B, and the Great Khan. We did, we did one like that pretty recently. But I've been wanting to do this for a while anyway. He gets opened up again. He gets opened up again. He gets shimmied again. He gets shimmied again. Ninja Killer knows it too. Oh, rip. That's that's mega plus. Now now Averitt's not doing anything. Yep, that was the correct answer. Remember I said that jumping, when someone is like not so minus, jumping is the correct answer. And they need to read that. But I mean, they're minus two, so they're not going to be able to react in time. Even Ninja Killer wasn't able to react to that, as you can see. Yeah, these are sick. You haven't found anything like this vid analysis of high level play. I mean, I've been meaning to do this for a while for myself anyway, but I haven't had the time to do it off stream. But I mean, we could do this a lot more often in between like the viewer attorneys and the other attorneys that we do you know so that's definitely not a problem you know nice micro duck oh he's going for the optimal oh rip he tried to do back two there he tried to do back two again with punish he was ex i think he was expecting ninja killer to move backwards but ninja killer actually moved forwards Yeah, you see? He, he tried to do back two right there. That wasn't the play. Like I said, he keeps thinking Ninja Killer is not going to react. But Ninja Killer is going to react. That's the thing. Ninja Killer will react. That That's something I'm noticing about this man. He will react. Ninja Killer is actually all reactions, bro. This man reacts so fast. Yeah, that, that's that's the end of it, guys. Anyway, new people in the chat. I'm about to host somebody. It's been a long stream. Join the Discord. We're creating our own fighting game as well. Uh, it's going to be called Just Meta Fighters. We're taking community members and we're making them a part of the, the fighting game. So come back again tomorrow. We're probably going to do a PC or PlayStation viewer tournament. And we're probably going to analyze some more VODs as well. Because I kind of like doing this. I've been meaning to analyze a lot of Final Combat stuff, actually. Uh, we can host P and D, K and M if you guys want. If I'm, if I'm really deep in the back. Oh, they're playing... Uh, it's consistent in the world. Playing, oh, yeah. Playing. This game looks fun. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to host these guys. Anyway, tell Ketchup and Mustard I said it was good. Not a bad start. And uh, have a good, have a good Sunday, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you hit that follow button. Make sure oh, you join our Discord yeah. server. Come on. Peace out. Alliance just had Bro, come on. Deadly Alliance just had the tutorial.